Hello, good evening, and welcome to Angry Welshman Productions. It is me, Reese, and tonight I am joined by Sam of Blast Pipe Productions. Hello. And tonight, Sam, I'm going to let you do the uh, the intro bit of what we're doing, since this ooh, is uh, ooh, okay. this is your baby. Right, so tonight we are going to take Audible Five Nine Six Bahamas on the North Wales Coast Express. Well, hey. Um, so this is a reskin of the Bossman Games Jubilee, which I've been working on for several years now. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is the first time we're going to publicly showcase it running on the main line. So, see how it does. Alrighty. So, without further ado, let's get in the cab and uh, get ready. Ready to hell. Right, uh, Sam is going to be driving tonight. I'm on the shovel. Hmm. There we are. We've got his cheat sheet up. What time are we on? Uh, in game, we're um, 9.53. Right, so we've got seven minutes. Probably shouldn't be. Uh, probably shouldn't shovel as much coal as that. <laughs> We're already blowing off. Yeah, I've done a couple of tweaks to the simulation to reflect the uh, improvement that the double chimney did. Oh yeah. Uh, you should notice that it performs a lot better than the normal Jubilee in terms of steaming. Um, do we want to show off what coaches we've got? Yeah, go on then. I'll let you hand up camera for it, I think it'll be a bit smoother for you. Um, so we've got the support coach, which is part of the reskin pack. Um, and that support coach has been done to match the real BLS one, externally at least. Um, and we're then using the Armstrong Powerhouse Mark 1s, but we're not just using the base ones in the pack. Um, we have also got at the end there, we've got some named ones. I've just noticed you don't have the West Coast Railway branding patch on, do you? Is that not what that is? It is, but it should be on the other coaches as well. Oh. Yeah, well. But yeah, so we've got these named coaches on, which were made by Peppercorn Workshop. Um, he's done quite a lot of nice stuff for running rail tours. He's done these named coaches and he's also done um, a ton of support coaches uh, which are all quite nice and good to use for rail tours. So. What's going on with this break? Um, what's probably going on is that it's not on apply. That should be going on and off now. Hmm. There we are. Small ejector was open. Yeah, but you want it to come off, don't we? Uh, not immediately. We can put the handbrake on. Uh, yeah, that's going to go well. <laughs> yeah, what? nothing bad has ever happened to me putting handbrakes on, right? Reese, please don't give Bahamas wheel flats. Bahamas tender needs wheel flats. Do it. Right, um, there's something that, that I was going to ask about the real Bahamas. Yep. About these wheels on the tender. What well, not there a ah, story with that? Observant. There is. It's the um, tender wheel just under the cab. Um, the front wheel set on the tender. Um, if you look closely on the real thing, you'll notice that the front one on the tender is actually not a spoked wheel. Um, I think it's from a dub D, if I remember correctly. Um, and the story with it is that Bahamas was uh, damaged in a shunt, and it wrote off one of the wheel sets. Uh, but it was towards the late days of steam, and so... 
they couldn't really be bothered making a new wheel set. So instead, they nicked one off a of Dub D and replaced it with that. And they replaced the one on the Dub D with one from a wagon. <coughs> so, yeah, there's a bit of history behind that there. So, uh, Sam has been doing this reskin for quite a while. And you'll have probably noticed something which I'm trying to show off a bit is all of the polishing and what have you. <laughs> yes, which a lot of people will complain about. Are the sanders on? They shouldn't be. But they do look to be there. Well, they were. Huh. <laughs> I don't know why the sanders were on. I've whacked the injector on just to top up the boiler a bit. Yeah. What time is it in game? 57. we got two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. I'll tell you what we can have a look at then. We can have a look at people before they complain about block textures. We can go, look, it's not block textures, it's brush strokes on it. Brush strokes? Um, and we can also look in the cab at least. Uh, Ooh. Warning notices, which are faithfully recreated from what's on the actual engine. Nice. And we've got them up there, them up there, and then we've got the ones on the tender and the yellow fire irons as well. Nice. I better and get doing some shoveling. Man. Yep. And we've got the terrifying man who has the eyes in the back of his head. He's got eyes in the back of his head? He's got eyes in the back of his head. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a thing. Because I don't have any PTSD now after that. <laughs> okay, the first question of the BLS uh, doubter. Me Engineer 100 says the cab really that clean. Um, more or less. The cab textures are still a work in progress. I've got some things I need to sort. For example, the brake handle there I've not got around to doing yet, but that should be mostly grass, not black. Um, I've only just started the process of fixing all the bits in the cab which should be matte instead of gloss. So that's like the manifold layer. Um, but I have actually got around to doing some tweaks to the um, to the boiler. Well, I don't think Reese has loaded that version yet. Oh. But it's only subtle so it doesn't really matter. I installed one. the one that you gave me, so I take no responsibility for that. Yeah, I sent an update to you on Wednesday. Ah. Uh, but I didn't see it. <laughs> but yeah, I've redone the writing on the side of the cab as well. Right, Sam. Uh, it's uh, time to go, mate. It's time to go. So, I will... Let me just unwind the handbrake. Actually remember to do it this time. <laughs> I guess we need the tip from the guard. We need the tip from the guard. Right away. Right away. And over to you, driver. Right. Away. Cumberland Sausage asks how we are uh, splitting the crew rules. So Sam is going to be driving and I'm going to be taking the shovel. So we're already leaving crew and we're blowing off like mad already. So Yeah, we'll need that steam when we get up to speed. We've got uh, 12 coaches on today, I think. 11 Ooh. Mark 1 and a Mark 2. Yeah. Which is a heavy load for a Jubilee. So we'll be needing that steam. I'm using the steam to inject while it, we're blowing off. Yeah, you'll have to be just careful we don't prime with it. Yeah, I'm just keeping it right on the edge. Jonathan Laws says there would be more laughs if I was driving. There'd be also much more risk of... Uh... Not actually making it to the destination. Yeah. <laughs> Have you shut off? Yeah. Why? 
Because we've got to be slow coming out of Creel, there's a 20 mile an hour speed limit here, I believe. You're only doing 10. Yeah, but I can't actually see how fast we're going. Oh, right. <laughs> well, there's, there's an indicator right there. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to keep flicking back for that. You mean we'll actually have to do something realistic? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to actually have to look and see how fast we're going. And you're going to have to turn your gauge glass towards you. Oh, look, there's an intercity uh, APT there. The advanced passenger train. So, yeah, I'm going to actually have to try and look at the line side speed limits for this. 50, which is coming into a 50 speed limit. Coming into a 50, you say? Yeah. <laughs> Right, you'll have to let me know when we start hemorrhaging steam. Okay, I'm trying to turn the injector on. Do you need to have a look at them? It don't sound like it's working. I'll tell you what we can do. Um, If we settle it onto that, yeah, that's the one we wanted. Oh, what did you do then? Um, I turned on the help. Um, so basically, what it should do now, we should have priming warm, the priming and low boiler warnings, and the injector position should be set to the right trimming. It doesn't uh, sound like it. So it should it should pick up properly. Have you got the water turned on? Yeah. Oh, you've got both of the waters on. That one's off. Right, the, the one is on now. I can hear it. It's picked up. Right. I'm using the right-hand side now. The left-hand side wouldn't pick up for some reason. But we're making steam, so that's positive. Oh, yeah, by the way, I forgot to say, Sam, we've got several stops. Yeah, that's helpful to know. Probably um, would have been helpful to tell the driver that we have several stops on the way. <laughs> so the next stop is Chester, which Lovely is in plan. 20 miles, 25, oh, 20 minutes from now. So boiler pressure is steadily going up and I am injecting. Yep, like I said, I've done some tweaking with it, so we should be able to generate steam at... Um, whilst running it at max speed. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the ideal fire mass is for it as well. I think it's around 950 if I remember correctly, but that might not be right. I'm keeping it about 1,000 for now. Yeah. What's the speed at? Let's have a look. 35. Yeah. So uh, sorry, yeah. I was holding the shift key. Yeah, no worries. What does fire look like? I've just shoveled a load of coal. Mmm, nice and black. Of course, what else? <laughs> there don't appear to be many sparks there, which means I can probably do less and put that a bit. There we are, sparks. Well, hey. So this is, um... A subtle way of driving the BMG job, you can keep an eye on the smoke and when you start getting sparks, you know, you need to notch down the reverser. Oh, okay. That's quite um, handy to know. Yeah, I think the sparks come when you stop generating steam pressure. So that's like when it's, um, when it's far from idea. Yeah. Far from idea. Okay. We're not watching the signals today. Eh, uh, he needs signals. The road will be fine, probably. Little and often. Little and often, the LMS were... No! <laughs> Reese, you're, you're in an LMS lurker now, in LMS territory. You I know. might be in us, but you're in LMS land. I know. Churchwood would be turning in his grave if he saw me here. <laughs> Firing a Midland machine. 
I think if we've got the support coach, ah, oh, there we are. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, first class seats here. We got first class seats in the coach as well. Tell, yep. you, tell you what, the guy in the support coach, whoever he is, he better get them bacon sandwiches on the go. Uh, it's funny you say that, Reese, because we do actually have a fully functioning stove and uh, in the uh, support coach. Nice. Um, I think the normal thing they do is they do uh, like slow cooker meals in there. See, now on a rail tour, that would make sense. Like uh, in the morning, somebody get like a, a crock pot or a couple of crock pots with a good stew in there, and you know, over eight or nine hours, you could just let it uh, cook away. Yep, that'd be epic. Speedy Slay said Churchwood wouldn't be spinning in his grave, he would be rising from the dead to strangle me to death. Yeah, Reese, you better make sure your doors are locked. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Gareth Davis is asking me where... Uh, hang on, sorry Sam, i got to just hide someone on the chat. Ah, uh, right. Put user in timeout, you're annoying me. Can't just ask the same question every five minutes. It's just... Annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna stick the right side injector on. Ready to hear? But we're still making steam, so that's all right. We're still making steam, and we're still making speed, so we're happy. Gareth Davis asks where I'm from. Well, I'm from Wales, and we are <laughs> heading. <laughs> we are heading to the glorious land of Wales. We are heading into Welsh Wales. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. So Bahamas is well on the way. Well on the way. I think at the moment, seeing as we've got a good head of steam, um, if you want to get any screenshots or anything, I think now would be a good time. I'm just going to shovel a few rounds. I'll let you do some uh, line siding if you want. I'll leave it to you, Reese. You've got better control than a mouse. Okay, alright. Um, Michael96 Thompson right. says, Sam, be nice to rise. I'm assuming that means Reese, for not breaking <laughs> Bahamas. Well, we've only just started. Um, yeah, give it time. <laughs> I was going to say, we got a long, we got 100 miles left to run. We haven't even made it to the first stop yet. Yeah, it is going to be. Um, it's going to be a reasonable length stream, is this? Um, I'd say it's not, at least two and a half hours, minimum. Yeah, and we're not going to get up to incredibly high speeds either. We're sticking to speed limits as best we can. Um, speed limit here is the, 90, so, uh, yeah. But we're a rail tour, so it's actually 75. Yeah. Because, we know that, because we've got a helpful little plaque on the engine which tells us. Look at that, it's as though somebody knew it was in the cab. <laughs> yeah, we've also got a nice warning there telling us um, if we smell garlic bread, we've got to stop. Garlic bread? Well, it says garlic, but... Can we have um, a modified version of that little document? And just that have, says if it bread. says, if you can smell garlic bread, then apply the brakes immediately. Do you know what I'll do, Reese? I'll, um, I'll make a version of it and I'll put, the, I'll put bread underneath it so it looks like it's been handwritten in <laughs> pen or... <laughs> nice. We're we'll doing a nice bit of uh, bit of graffiti there. Yeah, have we got any water? We're full. We're almost at the top nut, I think. Hi. Sixty-one mile an hour, Sam. There we are, a mile a minute. And that's still climbing as well, isn't it? So that is one thing I do wish they would do with train sim. I wish they would um, give you the option to change the colour of the F5 hood. Yeah. To something a bit more high contrast and easy to see. Just shoveling a few hundred tons into the cab. <laughs> Ooh, look at that fire. White hot. 
white hot. You can really see the um, increased drafting effect of the double chimney at work there. Yeah, there we are. I do enjoy driving boss man games locos. They are good. It's particularly nice to do multiplayer stuff on. It's uh, It can be a bit overwhelming to try and do everything yourself. But they are particularly good for doing multiplayer stuff. This setup that we've got going for these virtual footplates, with boss man games low, because it works really well, I think. Yeah, it does. The only time we get issues is when we're trying to do two things at once and we have like the keyboard controls. Yeah, like if I'm like when I'm shutting the firebox doors, I'm holding the shift key and then you're trying sure. to move the camera so then it all freaks out for a moment, doesn't it? Yeah. I need to see how much fire we got. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, because you can't see it against the cab roof. And I need to eject. <laughs> Although actually for the water, I'm looking at the gauge glass. Yeah. Which is probably a fairly accurate way of doing it. So let's have a look at the herd. We are 12.8 miles from Chester. Yeah, lovely juggler. Hey, <laughs> no pun intended. Oh. Reducing to a 65 mile an hour speed limit. We're only at 63.7, so... That's yeah, be right. It'd be all right. Mamod Steam Return says, Sam, what's that black cylinder thing on the cab roof? Um, I believe that's part of the AWS equipment. Is it? Um, I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah that's what that's does that bell, bell do? That bell's the um, all clear for the AWS. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think that's the all clear. Because um, you know it makes that little ding noise when you go over it. Yeah. So I believe that's the all clear, and that's the bit that makes the like, me. Yeah, noise. it's like a siren thing, isn't it? We're in the 65 mile an hour limit. Yeah. Which, what more are we last doing? Not far off. Can I just look down a minute? Yeah, sure. Yep, I need to shovel a little bit. Oh, are you going from fire road off for your car, or are you checking the hood? I was checking the hood. Ah, right. I think you can stick the flap up as well on the firebox. Can you? Yeah. Does it affect the steam generation? Yeah, I think it improves it. It keeps a bit more of the heat in. Ah. Um, and you should still be able to shovel with that there as well. Can I shut the fire doors with that in place? Yep. That's the baffle plate, isn't it? It is the baffle plate. Yeah. That baffled me for a while. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice one, Reese. Well, we're back in the 90 limit. Uh, telescopic vision to see where we are. Yeah. All engine drivers have telescopic vision, you know. It's the thing to have on the main line. Yeah, how else do you think we'll see all the signals? That bell, just then, that's what that red fin is. Oh, yeah. So what's the history behind Bahamas, then? Um, well, it's a big green engine. That was originally a big red engine. No way. Um, and that's it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. The history of 45596 Bahamas, ladies and gents. <laughs> um, yeah, if we... I'll tell you what, we might even be able to see it because I did put it on the engine. I don't know if we'll be able to zoom in on it in a flare. Can you read the builder's plate in the corner there, Reese? Yeah, North British Loco. Can you read the date on it? Because that is an um, actual photograph of Bahamas' builder's plate. 1935. There you go, so she was built in 1935. <laughs> um, standard Spaniard design. Um, 
named for the Bahamas Islands, as the members of the class were named after British overseas territories and warships, I believe. Yeah, they were Royal Navy warships, battleships, I think. Yeah. So, she was named for that. Uh, she was originally built as a single chimney, built by North British in Scotland, in Glasgow. But that surprises me, to be honest, because I would have thought she'd have been built at Crewe. Yeah, she was um, one of the subcontract batch. Um, it was actually quite common for a lot of locos to be built, at, certainly at North British. They tended to do a lot of mainline work. But the big four railway companies did tend to subcontract a lot. For example, Hunslet in Leeds built a lot of jinties. Did they? Yep. I, I did not know that. Yeah. Um, North British built some B1s as well. Um, North and, British built um, a load of Great yeah, Western tank engines as well. Yeah, uh, they even built locos from all over the world. They built a few Australian locos, a few New Zealand locos. Um, so it was it was fairly common for North British to do a lot of subcontract work. Wow. Um, Same with Vulcan, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so Bahamas was originally single chimney. Um, worked for many years, pretty much all around the north of England. Um, I think it was in the 1960s when she got a double chimney, early 1960s. Can't oh. remember the exact date. Looks like we've got someone with an opinion in the chat. Uh, yeah, I noticed that, and I'm electing to ignore it. Yeah. Um. Ejecting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so she was given her double chimney as an experiment by British Railways to try and improve the steam economy of one. Um, and they found that I think there were about four jubilees that were fitted with double chimneys in total. Wow. But. Yeah, Bahamas was the main one from this experiment on account of the fact that it was getting towards the end of steam when it happened and I think it only had it for about a year or so um, before British Railways decided they were getting rid of steam. But they found that the double chimney made a significant improvement to the firing abilities. They found it, made, it improved the steam raising capacities by about a third. Uh, which is a significant improvement and it allowed them to use much poorer quality coal and still get the same results. Yeah. So that's why I did the simulation tweaks to it just so it can generate steam a bit better. Well, I'm going to stop shoveling now because we're um, approaching Chester, I think. Well, five miles away. Five miles away. Well, one worth valley away from Chester. There we go. Yeah, so we'll have to keep an eye on speed limits. Yeah. Well, we're almost... I'm going to shut the injector off because um, when we get to Chester, I'm sure I'm going to need to whack the injectors on to yeah. stop her from blowing off so much. So if I let the water come down a bit... Yep. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll, um, I'll let you know when I'm shutting off, shutting off steam. Okay. Uh, can whack the injectors on there because that's a uh, standard practice for engines. Because um, of course one of the things you don't really realise until you get on the footplate is that when you shut the regulator the water in the glass just plummets. Um, it does actually make a huge, huge difference there. David Seward saying he makes sure the braking is nice and smooth, he doesn't want his breakfast in his lap. <laughs> Because he's, he's travelling in, uh, in first class. Yeah, he's in the first class seats at the back. What's on the menu for uh, first class today? Um, that's a good question, isn't it? It's definitely going to be some form of Yorkshire pudding and gravy. Yeah, it's, well, it's always Yorkshire pudding and gravy. You can't go wrong with Yorkshire pudding and gravy. we got 3.8 miles left to run to Chester. Right. Yeah, 
I'm just keeping an eye out for speed limit signs. We've got some good suggestions. We've got sausage pizza, we've got mint lamb. Um, I tell you, I haven't had minted lamb for a long time. We've got to have uh, garlic potatoes as well. Yeah. But that's why first class is at the back, so the driver can't smell garlic. Yeah, that's it. Tactical move. This will probably be and, and garlic bread, says Jonathan look, Jonathan Lord. Here we go. Going into a 65. Gonna try and do it without using the hood, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a check and see whereabouts we are on there. Uh, which is, yeah, close enough. I just gotta, yeah, just, <laughs> I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what else might be a good idea? What? Yes, that is a good idea. If we're going to try doing it properly without, uh, without using the hood. So we're now into a 65 zone. Injectors going on. What's that speed limit? No idea. <laughs> Twenty uh, down to thirty. Thirty. You're at forty two and slowing down rapidly now. Yep. What button is the, the ejector? Um, the large one is U and the little one is J, but they're both are open at the moment. Alright. There we are, that's the large one shut. So we should now be well within any speed limits. Oh, there's so many negative comments in this chat. They've got no faith whatsoever, do they? Well, it's as though they've seen one of our live streams before. I know. Which I think is unfair, to be honest. I do too. We can be competent at times. You can speed up a little bit if you are. A little bit, you say? Reg through the roof. Oh, God. I was just expecting to see the regulator, like, up through the roof. Yeah, if you weren't moving the camera, you would have done. Yeah. Telescopic vision. Telescopic vision, indeed. What's the telescopic vision say? It says the driver needs an eye test because everything's all pixel Yeah. P. Herbert says, this is my first AWP livestream. Cool. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, then uh, hit, uh, hit the subscribe button. And also hit the super chat button and donate £50,000. And then Reese can buy a nice steam engine. And then I can buy a, uh, what was it, Dolpha? Off uh, Steam Workshop's website. Something like that. Right. Have you got the injectors on? I just turned it off. Ah, uh, right. You might want to open your drink, Ox. Yep. Because we might be priming a little bit. Just a bit. Yeah, that'd be right. Coming up to a 30 mile an hour zone. Yeah, I may have shut off a little bit early, but I'd rather play it safe than sorry. Yeah, exactly. 
um, especially seeing as steam locomotives are exactly well known for stopping in a short distance. Joe Light Railway is asking, can we build a brand new LNERA4? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Yep, um, for a few million quid, sure. I'm pretty sure we're going in the... Oh, no, I'm talking through my ass. <laughs> I'm pretty we... sure we're going into that platform... Oh. We're supposed to go into platform 3B. Now, I've never been to this station, so I have no idea if this is the right road. All well, I can say is tr out. trust the signal. Oh. Um, Reese, I believe what... Ooh. Yeah, we... This is... 3B is right at the far end. But on, yeah. the, on the left side, so it's only going to take the loco into that. Oh, train sim signaler has done it again. <laughs> yeah. Well done, train sim. Well done, train sim. It's, it's rooted us over that set of points. I bet you, you watch now, we'll go over that set of points so that the loco is sat in the uh, in the in 3B, but the rest of the train isn't. Yep. See, this is why I do free rooms instead of setting a route. To be fair, this is something I should have checked. Most of it was fine when I checked. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and blame the signalman. At least it wasn't our incompetence. Yeah, that's true. How many minutes uh, do you want to stop here? Um, it depends how much we get into the platform, I suppose. Well, we we got corridor connections on all the coaches, so it's not that big a deal. Yeah, well, that's true. I'll just save real quick. I don't think we'll only get probably the front half of the train in the platform. Yeah. Oh well. Ladies and gents, we've tried. <laughs> well we've made it we've made it to the first stop. Yeah? We haven't got everything in the first stop, but we've made it there. Well, as I said, we've got corridor connections. Passengers can just walk through the train, it's fine. Yeah, that'd be right. So we got a stop at Chester, um, Landudno. I think it's Landudno that we've got a um, a water stop booked. Although I'm yeah. not, I'm not sure if we are going to need it, but you never know. It's better to have it and not need it. Yeah, I did a test run and I managed to get the whole way, but that was a lot of firemen firing. So yeah. Ooh, that was a bit clunky. Eh, we're right. It looks smooth on my screen, that's my excuse. <laughs> I'm just going to take a walk back and see how much of our train we've actually got in the uh, in the platform. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six coaches in the platform. It's okay, the buffet is there, that's the most important bit. You know, that's... Uh, Beautiful competency from the Signalman. <laughs> the Signalman in this game have done some beautiful things, but this has got to be one of the one of the best things I've seen. Oh, it's up there, isn't it? And since we're engine crew, I'm going to take a little walk out onto the track, and we'll uh, have a little look see at our beautiful beast. Yeah, I did. Um, I did manage to overrun the signal by like a buffer beam length, but. At this it's stage, I'm not worried. <laughs> the signalman has uh, been a twat to us. Yeah. Right, so I guess we better uh, get her ready to go. Uh, not quite. We've got to, um, if we look back again, we've got to actually... Yeah. We've, we've got to actually give people a chance to... No. I refuse. Yeah. Oh. It's only women that want to get on the train anyway. 
Oh, we had a tip. We got the whistle. Right. Right, we better, um... I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready. Uh, we'll ignore that red light because it is actually a green light. We've just overrun it. Okay, the brakes aren't coming off. Yes, they are. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you don't like what colour the signal is, just disagree with it. I always disagree with signals. It's more what you call a guideline rather than an actual rule. Yeah, exactly. Right, so our next book stop is um, Rill. Oh, okay, Rill in 30 miles. So we got quite a bit, we got more than half an hour to run. Yeah, we've got a nice decent long run here. So I'm just building up the fire a fair bit. Right, let's shut that, uh, shut the fire door. We'll shut off the blower. And we'll let her build up some steam pressure. Ready to help? We're going to blow off again, so I'm just going to stick the injector on. So, now that we're leaving Chester, how is everybody doing tonight? Bermuda One says, you, did you check that it's not going to need to reverse at Rill? Hmm. Um... I wish he hadn't said that because now I'm not sure. But I don't know why I'm doing that because I could just do. I could just do that. Go on, look at the smoke. Black smoke, lovely, perfect colour. Well, I have just put about a hundred pounds on on the fire, so it will be a little bit black. Yes, but Hamas has been eating a lot of fast food recently. Yeah, she needs a good run to uh, sweep away the grease. IDK13 says he wants to upgrade to first class. No refunds. Yeah, no refunds, no, no transfers. You get what you're given. And you will like it. <laughs> that could be our rail tour business uh, slogan. I like it. <laughs> nice. You sit I down, like shut up, belt up. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's outside Yorkshire, it's not worth ruddy visiting. I was just about to say this from that uh, Air Yorkshire Airlines advert. Yeah, right, hey, then. yeah. It's like the um, the safety announcement is right then you look, shut up, belt up, and if you can't see to exit, you must be a bloody blind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the um, pilot has uh, his uh, yoke on aeroplane, he's, uh, he pulls it and it pours him a pint, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so at some point we're going to be crossing the border into Wales. We are, although I don't think there's a nice sign to look at when we do. No, I don't think there is any sign. Oh, uh, spam queue, spam queue, why have we got, um, why have we got a, uh, a warning? I believe it's because there's this branch line. I think it's one of the fixed, uh, fixed warnings. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, just because there's those points there. Yeah. Um, while we're having a look at that, whereabouts is real? Um, good question. Uh, a little bit further left, I think. Is that it? There, that's, that's it. it. Real platform two. It should just be straight into the platform. It should be, but do we go straight out again? Yeah. It should just be straight through and then back. Looks alright. We'll have to just see when we get there, I think. Yep. For Yorkshire pudding, we charge an absolute fortune, but it's worth it. It's worth every penny. Honestly, it's the most extrav, but it is but, worth uh, it. It's not just got one Michelin star, the Yorkshire pudding has five Michelin stars. Five Michelin star pudding. It's just that good. 
go. We picked up speed pretty quick on this one. Yeah, I had the um, I've had the reverse set a bit higher. Oh right, okay. I had a set a bit. Yeah, so you can tell because the chimney's having a bit of a panic. Um, but yeah, hopefully it should be a bit, a bit speedier. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you notice the boiler pressure dropping a fair bit, that's probably why. Well, I've got the injector on and I've got shoveling, and I'm doing shoveling. Yeah, but you can generally tell when it's a steam because it'll, you'll, it'll start hemorrhaging steam rather than just slowly losing it. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like it'll be a good reverse setting for a bit. 55 miles an hour. And reasonably quickly climbing. Well, we're holding pressure as well. I'm going to stop shoveling there, give the fire a chance to burn. Yeah. I, got like a... I, Sorry, did, go uh, I did the tweaks on it. I tried not to overdo it with them, but I wanted to make it so like you could run the engine at full capacity yeah. and not run out of steam but also not be constantly blowing off. So I tried to get it so there's a bit of a balance there. Yeah. Yes, um, probably should tell everybody. Let me just press F1. So the next stop is Rill. And then after that we've got a stop at Landudnum. Then we're stopping at Bangor. And then we're stopping at Landfairpool, Wingek, Gokech, and Drubble, and Tassilio, Gogogog. Just so you could say that. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I say it properly, but it's as good as it's going to get. And then the final destination is Hollyhead. Scott Miller is asking, is this multiplayer or are you playing on the same machine? Uh, technically it is oh. multiplayer, but we are, you know, kind of glitching the game a little bit to do it. Yeah, basically the way it works, it's the equivalent of me plugging my keyboard and mouse into Reese's computer. So it's still just one version of Train Simulator, but we can both control it. So it's not really proper multiplayer, but it's the best that we can get. There we are, we're up to 60 now more or less. That station that we're stopping at, uh, Land Fairpool. Yep. I only added a stop there so that we could see the station name. Yeah, I thought you had. That's the only reason we're going there. See, here at recent Sam Rail Tours, we like to include novelty stops. Novelty random stops for no reason. Carl Bones is asking you, uh, and for Sam, why did you do a reskin with only Bahamas and not add the other engines like Leander, Cole Harper, etc.? Um, long story short, BMG textures are pretty difficult to reskin. Um, there's a lot going on in them textures. So, now I've done Bahamas, it'll be easier for me to do the others, and I may well revisit them and do the other preserved ones. But, for the time being, it's just Bahamas. Um, but yeah, this pack is going to have Bahamas, the support coach, and Lakota tank reskins in it. So, it's going to be a Bahamas Locomotive Society pack rather than a Jubilee pack. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I could have a go at the other preserved Locos afterwards. That's why we're running with the BLS um, headboard as well. Yeah. Which we can... Oh look, Train Sim's given us this wonderful camera angle again. The pretty bog standard default ahead cab view. Or, uh, I absolutely view. hate that camera angle. I know. Like it, oh look, it's the same one again! It's because of the again. fence loft. It's because of the fence and loft again. it is. And again! And again, and again. Watch what happens. If I just hold down 4, well, oh look, we've, we had a different <laughs> one for a second. 
But no, it's back to it again. There we go. There we go. Ralph, stop playing with your whistle. <laughs> it's the only time the fireman gets to play with the whistle there. <laughs> oh, we must be going downhill because the boiler water level just plummeted. I've lot of just crested a hill. Let's just uh, cheat. Yeah. We are going downhill. The injector should be on. It is. Yeah, the fire's burning well at least. Yeah. I'm trying to uh, do little and often shoveling. It's quite nice to take a back step and let Sam do the driving for for once. <laughs> Giving him a nice toot. When was the last live stream where you drove? Um, I think it was that time I derailed. Oh, was it the coal tank one or the um, the, the super D? Um, which one? The coal tank one or the... I think it was where we took both the, the Super D and the coal tank up Clivet Gorge. It might have been. I can't actually remember, to be perfectly honest. We've got to revisit that route. That is such a challenging route. It's a lovely route. I love routes where you can just thrash the engine and get a good noise. Mmm, lovely smirk grease. Yeah, I love uh, polluting the environment. <laughs> Uh, spam Q, spam Q, spam Q, spam Q. <laughs> oh, we both do that as well. Uh, wait, hang on. Why are we? Oh no, it's okay. I don't know why we had a warning there. Probably because it's a set of points, and there's a low speed limit for it. I think they tend to have fixed warnings for stuff like that. Oh, do they? Yeah, I think it's for um. You know, like if you're going from a 90 into a 15, you kind of need a warning even if the points aren't set, just in case they have or they've walked or anything. Yeah. That would make sense. Oh, me engineer 100 says he's made some scenarios for the Heads of the Valley route. Nice. Very nice. Little and often shoveling. Uh oh, tunnel. I hope we don't get fatal blowbacks. I, but the fatal blowback soon isn't really too realistic anyway because if you've got a strong draft, like if you're running at full pelt, you won't really get blowback. Yeah. Because the force of it sucking through is that strong. It's um, it's only if you're like coasting through the tunnel. Yeah. Like you get it. Stop the injector. Lovely gerbler. Being asked by Joe Light Railway, have you ever been to the miniature railway at Rill? Unfortunately, no. Next question. Next. <laughs> Green light, that's what I like to see. I wonder what happens if I can... Aha! Yeah, I you can, can, you train. can uh, have a look at the back of the train. We'll go, take we a, we'll go have a quick coffee break in the uh, passenger section. I think we are supposed to technically be on the footplate, but we can now see some water. Yeah. Look at that, North Wales. I'm just spamming Q while we're off the footplate, just to make sure. That's standard practice, I think. Well, the scenery's got boring now. Better do some shoveling. <laughs> Someone said it's safe to eat your garlic bread in here. Yeah, away from the loco, so the 
Can, can you smell garlic? Oh, it can be garlic. You smell garlic? Ooh, heck. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure there is um, a, can a, tin a company that make mushy peas, and they're called Uek Mushy Peas. <laughs> See, it's in times like this that I really miss Nunla. What, having a full reg? Well, Nunla has a little notch cut into the regulator handle, so you can just get a little bit extra out of it. Oh, of course. Ooh, what station is this? I don't know, but we're going straight through it. We're not stopping. Bad time to find out that that was real. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Nah, it won't be there yet. Oh, we but. still got a while to go. Flint. Flint. Flint Eastwood. No, where? How much water is the tender hold? Is it 3,500 gallons? 4,000. Oh, 4,000. In fact, we can actually tell by having a look. Ooh, hello. That's Where fancy, are. water level gauge. Yep. It's not quite accurate to the Rio Bahamas, the tender, unfortunately, because it's got all the mainline stuff modified on it. But, yeah, we should still be able to open the locker, I think. Although, maybe not. Yeah, that's not fiddled with that either. I'm injecting now at the same time. Right. Steam seems to be going down a bit. And the boiler water level's down. I got a good fire in and trying to let it burn a bit. Yeah, like I said, I think ideal's around about 950. Yeah. Yeah. Um, boiler pressure going down is not due to me this time. No, it's probably because I'm injecting as well. I'll tell you what we can do though. Just leave that crack to open a bit. I might have a girl with fiddling around with the um, cab cameras a bit as well, the positioning of them. I would love to see some new cab cameras for all locos in Train Sim, not just like this one, but just like a free roam camera that's referenced to the loco. Yeah. So. That would be a good one. I think Train Sim World has it, that you can just like attach the camera to the loco and you just move the camera in a sort of X, Y, Z axis around it, but you're always moving relative to it. Yeah. You know, that's, um, that's something I would love to see in this game. Yeah, we still got quite a way to, uh, what's it called? Real. Real. I really, 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 really want to see Rill. Reese wants to go to Rill. The breakdown train, quickly! <laughs> let's, let's hope we don't need that. Well, uh, there's a speed limit sign coming up. Spam Q. Speed is reducing to 15 for the turning, but I don't think that affects us. And if it does, it's probably too late most likely too late for us. I cheated. Nah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> if in doubt, give the signal a ring. Phone signaler. Phone signaler. Get on to phone. 75 mile an hour speed limit. Which is fine, we don't need to worry about that. How much fire do we have? Yeah, it's we're getting better. I mean, pressure's all right. It's holding. <gasps> yeah. Look, upper quadrant signals. Ooh. Ah. Oh God, Sam. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ. What? No, I thought we were going to go over that uh, crossover then. <laughs> Okay, the signals are green. I actually looked at that point and I thought, oh Jesus Christ, we're gonna go over that signal. 
It's okay, the signals are green, it's all good. Carabelga is asking what's the ideal fire mass for the Jubilee. The Samrec is about 950. I've been firing it up to about 1000 and then it dropped to about 920 um, as a rough range. And it seems to be working for us so far. IDK13 says he thinks that was a backing signal. Well, that's it. Let's slam it into full reverse. That's it. Full ahead of stern. <laughs> Me Engineer 100 says, Hollywell Junction, there was a steeply graded branch line from here to Hollywell. The 262 was limited to only one or two coaches on that line. Well, there we are. Riley Cornwall has joined us. Good evening, Riley. Hello, welcome to the video. Joe Light Railway says, what do you guys think of burning oil in steam locos? I think it's, um, well, you take a steam loco and you put an oil fire in it and you burn <laughs> the oil and it raises steam the same way that uh, a coal fire would. Pretty yeah, much. On, uh, yeah, on the design of the loco, really. So you could say, what do you think of log engines? Each one's so different, even in the same class of engine. I mean, there's been a lot of talk lately about coal supplies for the UK and the heritage sector. Um, people are saying this new coal mine in North um, is it uh, Cumbria? They should start yeah. supplying coal to the heritage sector, but it's not the right type of coal. It's more coking coal or use in steelworks. Yeah. So it's not really any good for burning in steam locos. I suppose it might be okay or usable if you're shunting or running at a museum or a siding or something. But for mainline use, I really don't think it would be any good. The problem with steam engines is that they require good quality coal for the most part. There are some which can burn bad quality coal, okay. But generally speaking, to run a steam engine properly, you need to have good <gasps> coal. No! What? Robert McGregor is in the chat and he says he has to admit he's not a fan of the cab, it's way too clean. Robert, hey. why? Robert, why? Why would you say this? We've got a way to clean comment. We've been, just to explain Robert, we've been sort of making a bet how long into the live stream would it take for somebody to mention that the uh, the cab is too clean. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, bits of it are. You know, on the back head layer, that should be all matte up there, and, but I've not got around to that yet. But the cab roof, for example. Well, it doesn't help, I got the fire doors open right now. Yeah, but the cab roof, the cab sides, you know, the tender back and that, that it is kept spotless. All the pipe work, the brass work, you can see your face in it. Now, the thing is, uh, guys, I didn't believe Sam. When, he was, when I first started talking to Sam, he was telling me about the coal tank and how shiny it is. And I just simply didn't believe him how shiny it was. And then I was invited to go to the Keighley and Worth Valley Railway. And I was given a tour of the shed at Ingro. And I stood for, with my own eyes in front of the coal tank and I said, Do you know what? Fair dues. <laughs> I am completely wrong. It is that shiny. Yep. I it's could literally see my reflection in the tank. And could you only just see your reflection, Reese, or could you very clearly see your reflection? I could very clearly see my reflection. Yep. It's, um, it's difficult for train simulators because, unfortunately, train simulators' reflections are not good. Uh, Robert McGregor is asking, does he win anything for uh, Point of the Air? I say you win a free copy of the... Uh, BLS locomotive pack from Brass Pipe Productions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Reese, there you go. I knew that oh. would happen. Being a Yorkshireman, he just said, uh, I'm giving something away for free, and he goes, A up, A up, A up. A up, A up, A up. <laughs> has anyone been given a footplate ride on Bahamas? Sam has. Yep. Spam Q, spam Q, spam Q, spam Q. Um, that's a fixed uh, warning. Yeah, I reckon so. We've been holding a steady 65, I think. We're doing all right. Yeah, I've just um, knocked it. Eight miles left to run to Rill. 
Yeah, and the boiler pressure is dropping a bit now, though. Yeah, I'm trying. I've got the water level quite high now. Ah, right. So I'm gonna probably have to turn the injector off for a little bit. Yeah, let's um, knock that off. Let her recover a little bit. Uh, it's funny, you know, Reese. There's a lot of comments in here which seem triggered by the fact that Bahamas is like, oh yeah, Bahamas. Bahamas, Bahamas, Bahamas. Yeah. But it's open invitation to anyone in the chat who doesn't believe me. Feel free to uh, drop me a message, come up to Worth Valley, and I'll show you Bahamas, and you can then eat your words. Like I did with Reese. Yeah. Well, when so all this COVID is over, I'm hoping to go back up to Keithley with Ali. Hi. I don't know when it's going to be, but, uh, you know. Probably going to be next year by the time everything starts going back properly. Yeah. Tonight. I think in the summer we might see a little bit of uh, things opening. But I don't think it's going to be loads, you know. I think it's going to be... Uh, Talking of um, have I seen a Jubilee, somebody asked me earlier, have I ever seen a Jubilee? Um, technically, although I don't really count it, Bahamas was the first loco my son actually saw. I don't know, I have Because I was, he was very young, he must have only been oh, two or three months old. And I was actually going to a funeral that day. That was why I couldn't go down to the station to see it. Um, but as I was getting dressed, ready to go, I heard the whistle, and Bahamas went steaming past my house. So there so, you go. So there you are. Bahamas is the first loco that went past my house when my son was there. Or steam loco, anyway. Oh. But then, obviously, I wasn't able to... Uh, go and see it but then the next time I went down it was Oliver Cromwell and Royal Scott so more LMS, more LMS crap <laughs> <laughs> get off my foot plate <laughs> just kick the fireman off the foot plate at 65 mile an hour oh he's opening the cab doors he's not joking guys I'm, I'm in trouble here <laughs> get, get off <laughs> walk the plank <laughs> Robert McGregor, I did apply to become a volunteer fireman at Keithley, did my interview and then COVID kicked off so that put the brakes on it. Yeah, I, I get that. Reese, Are you still waiting for me to leave the footplate? No, I can't shut the door. Well, oh, let me try. Let go of the mouse a sec, let me see. There you are. There we are. I'm safe again. Perhaps we should look where we're going as well. Oh, no, we don't need to do that. We've got 4.3 miles to rill, so I'm going to try and bring bring the water around a bit. I've let the fire come down. Soon, anyway. Yeah, I, I got um, 0.6 on the gauge glass, so I can... If I give her a bit of fire now, then we should be ready for when we're leaving rill. Yeah. I do find with the baffle plate up, the shoveling coal is reduced a little bit. Yeah, which kind of makes sense, I think. Because you've got a smaller hole to push it through. Yeah. Right, that's where we are. That's where we need to stop. So I think it's about time to think about shutting up. Just gonna build the fire up a little bit. Yeah. So that it's not such a huge shock when we need to uh, get steam to go. Yeah, you're using the telescopic vision once again. Yeah, that's fine. Here, brakes being applied. Yeah, the thing is, 
I've absolutely no idea where Ville actually is. Um, 2.6 miles, we still got ages yet, I just let it roll. Well, that blower brings the pressure around quite quick. Aye. I just stuck the blower on and looking at the boiler pressure coming around. Goodness me. Yeah, it does make a difference. Makes a hell of a difference. I better shut that thing off. <laughs> oh, it's too late. The fire's burning pretty hot now. Hmm. Me engineer 100 saying the AWS will probably go off on approach to Rill. But looking at that yellow signal, I'd say probably yes. I'm just hoping we don't... Let's uh, just quickly save the game before we uh, end up with a disaster on our hands. It won't be a disaster, it'll just be a... Where's Rill? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> As we roll past. Well, we're not stopping at Rill anymore. Oh, better turn the injector off. Spam cube, spam cube, spam cube, spam cube. <laughs> spam. Right, so we're on the approach to rail station. Wait a minute. What's that sign say? 25 for the crossing, but we're not going over that crossing. we got to go left. Yep. Oh, LaserJet is in the chat. Hello, LaserJet. Welcome. Why... Have I... I did shut the injector off, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I thought I did. Might be a hill. Oh, maybe. we still got a mile left to go. Yeah, it'd be right. Watch it. We've just come to a perfect stop, just at the end of the platform. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Blink. So for those of you wondering about over the hills, um, if there are people wondering before, I inevitably get asked about... It's cancelled. Um, it's cancelled, that's it, it's all done. Never again. again. Um, basically, I just thought I'd let everyone know. I've been gathering lots of books and magazines and reference material. Oh yeah, we got to slow down to about 15, I think, for the crossing up ahead. Spam Q. Because we're, yeah, we're going into Platform 2. Uh, basically, I've been offered a whole bunch of magazines of the Great Western Echo. Let's have the ejector open just to take the break off. Um, the Great Western Echo magazine from, I think it's about 1966 to 1980. There's a fellow who is actually a member of the Great Western Society who has a whole load of these magazines available. And he's offered to post them to me, which is really handy, and it's very good for reference material for writing over the hills. Of course, it's uh, set right in the early days of railway preservation. Sorry, Sam, but you could have gone over this set of points at uh, 40 mile an hour. Ah, well, I'd rather err on the side of caution. Because the thing is, we're wanting to stop as well, aren't we? Yeah. Ooh, listen to that. It does sound good at about this speed, doesn't it? Yeah. IDK13 says he's been trying to visit the railways of Wales for a year. Well, we're rail Wales is shut right now. You'll have to come back later. Literally, the entire country is shut. Well, the tourist sector has been decimated. Yeah. Nav's Media Production says he can't wait to see the cathedral in action when it's finished. Well, watch this space because uh, our channel, AWP, and a few other channels, the other guys who um, 
commissioned the cathedral from Victorian Lad or uh, Caledonia Works, we will be running a, um, a special race uh, where we pit all the cathedrals against each other. And this will take place before the cathedral is released. So it'll be a unique opportunity to see the cathedral in action. I believe it's with Steam Sound Supreme at the moment, isn't it? It's having sounds, oh. sounds done right now. Gently does it, gently does it. Gently does it. You're alright. You're <laughs> alright. You're alright. You're alright. Northern Soul Express says double header with the cathedral and the Great Bear. Well, the whole idea of the cathedral is that you wouldn't have to double head with anything. Uh, Mr. Tetraval says how many cathedrals were going to be built. Uh, I'm going to have to check the document. We've got a whole document which has all the names and numbers on. But I'm pretty sure it's a run of 20 and then there's a bunch of fictional ones as well. Well, I mean, they're all technically fictional, but, um, you know, there's some others. Eight to ten coach stop, I think. Well, we've got twelve, but it'll do. It's you know, it's as good as it's gonna get, isn't it? Ah, uh, come on, train sim. Ah, oh, there we go. Always stop. Why have, have I? Am I still injecting? Yes. No, I'm not. Yes, you I, are. Yes, I am. I do apologise. Um, <laughs> right. So. Yeah, we're going to prime like hell. So since we're stopped here for a little, yeah, for a couple like, of minutes, I'll, um, it's just, I'll, go on, you do your thing. I'll stick the handbrake on. I open the cylinder cocks because we might prime. Might or will? I would say it's probably 150% uh, certain at this stage. Yeah. Right. Uh, right, I'll just get a few uh, screenies. Let's just stick the blower on a little bit to get that black smoke away from the from the front of the loco. I gotta be honest, I'm quite enjoying this run. It's quite a nice uh, loco to take for a run. It's not often I say this about an LMS loco, <laughs> so I'm sort of sure Sam is sat there, you know, secretly like, yes. Yeah, I'm 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 enjoying this far too much. <laughs> there's a couple of screenshots here that's going to be the cover photo for the new Facebook page incidentally guys uh, if you haven't uh, looked in the video description there's a new AWP Facebook page head on over to Facebook and give us a like we won't be running a Facebook group anymore it'll all be done as a, a Facebook page from now on it's just easier than messing around with groups and Getting people to answer questions and all this rubbish. Ooh, signal box. <laughs> yeah, you have to get some. Uh, you have to get some line side shots of it, Reese. Yeah. Well, I've just stuck the blower on because I'm pretty sure we're going to be heading off soon. Yeah. Did we want to have a look at the miniature railway? Yeah. Let's have a quick look at the miniature railway. Do you know where it is? No, I've no idea. No, me neither. Does anyone know where Rose Miniature Railway is? I don't even know if it's been modelled in the in the route. Me neither. Oh, here it is. I'm pretty oh, sure it's at this park. Oh, maybe not. Lawrence was saying, uh, make sure that we give a loud toot as we go past, but I'm not exactly sure where the miniature railway is. Is it over here? There well, doesn't appear to be any sign of it. Is that it there? Uh, Robert McGregor says to the right. Oh, to the right. Does he mean back the way we came? We're probably sat there blowing off like mad. Yeah, I'll be right. I'm just not worry about it. No, I can't. Can't find it. Let's see if the. Not. Uh, it's not oh, modelled. It's no. Not modelled. Never mind. Right, we're blowing off like mad. I think it's time to get the tip from the guard. It's actually alright. I don't mind us blowing off right now because um, 
you know. We, we've got a ridiculously overfilled boiler. Yeah, so if we blow a bit of steam out, and we got to take the handbrakes off and all that. Well, I opened the doors, but we need to take the brakes off anyway, so. I'll leave that to you, you're the driver. <laughs> <laughs> Handbrake off, please. Handbrake coming off. So, next stop's landed now, isn't it? Uh, yes, it should be. Ready to hail. NABS Media Production says the boiler is filled with metal polish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's yep. just 4,000 gallons of Brasso in the tender. Yep. I'm actually tempted to reskin that tea can into a brasso can. Hell yeah. Yeah, Robert McGregor says that the real miniature railway is around the lake. Ah, so uh, right. We must have. It's not in the game. That's a shame. Do you want to go line side for this, Reese? What, for the departure? Yeah. yeah I think, go go yeah. ahead. I think I can set it off without too many issues. Well, your brakes are off, you're in gear. Yeah. Where should we go? Um, go where you want for a screenshot. Sun's on the other side, you might be able to get a nice bit of a curve around there if you can get on the inside. How about that? Yeah, that should do. Right, gently does it. I wish I sat on my Xbox controller, I could have got quite a nice uh, pan shot there. Yeah. Totally well, just gone for a reg. I could tell by the extra the volcanic plume that's erupting from the chimney right now. Hmm. There's a whistle stuck on. Nope. <laughs> oh, he's just playing with his whistle. <laughs> Only a bit. That's quite an impressive shot, Sam. It's all right, though, isn't it? Oh, there you go. It shows off everything quite nicely. Those eight, you know, I probably won't ever use any other Mark One pack now. The Armstrong Powerhouse Mark Ones are the mutt's nuts when it comes to coaches. Yeah, the. I would say they're definitely the best in game. Especially if you get the realistic branding patch for them. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have uh, <laughs> thought about that, shouldn't I? Uh, uh, it's all... I would have mentioned it, but I assumed you would have had it anyway. Right then, let's get going. We are. With a boiler press filled with water and <laughs> decent fire. Right, let's close those cylinder cocks and watch it take off a bit. NAB's Media Production says the Bahamas Locomotive Society wishes to apologise for the delay as our crew plays with the whistle. <laughs> alright, alright. Well, technically speaking, it would actually be West Coast Railways crew and we'd just have a BLS person on the footplate to make conversation with them. I was going to say, the West Coast Rail have their own drivers, don't they? Yeah, and the thing is, with BLS, um, we aren't actually mainline tour operators. It's always done through another company. We just own the loco. So we always have a society representative with the loco on the footplate, but they aren't actually there to drive or fire the loco. They're there to uh, basically to check that the driver and fireman take care of the engine properly um, but also to offer any advice about any specifics of the engine um, so that's particularly relevant for engines like the co tank where it's a pretty unique engine to drive and fire I mean I, the way I can uh, understand that is when the coal tank went to the Blanavon railway yeah because that is um, it's not an easy railway to drive shall we say even with yeah. a, you know a local which doesn't have a, a weird brake. 
doesn't have literally just a flap on the brake pipe yeah. for like, <laughs> Which I, I can imagine, especially on a gradient, that could catch you out if you're not used to uh, or you're not ready for it. Yeah, that and the fact that the overflow for the injectors is under the cab, so you can't actually look at it to see if you're injecting. Yeah. You've got to know by the sounds and the vibrations. So it's that's why we have a BLS rep with it, just so that you know, we can be there to offer that advice. Have any of you got the new Bachman 9400 class panniers? Um, I had one on pre-order for several years, and then when Bachman decided to say screw you to Hattons, they cancelled my pre-order, and I never got round, especially because it was taking so long, I never got round to pre-ordering it again. Um, so, yeah. Maybe I'll uh, get one one day. I'm pretty sure I've stayed on this uh, campsite here, on the right. Hmm. I haven't. <laughs> yeah, it's an area I've never been to in real life. You're not missing much. It's North Wales. <laughs> I would say the best part of North Wales is uh, further south with the, um, oh, like Snowdonia, Festiniog, and um, yeah, uh, Puff Madog, the Festiniog line, uh, Welsh Highland. It is very beautiful there. Uh. Oh god, I was driving there. The scenery is unbelievable to drive through. Oh yeah, it's just it's some it really is breathtaking scenery. Like you're all, you're always on B roads. You're never on A roads up there, and yeah. driving is fun. It's one of the few places in the country where I can honestly say I actually enjoyed driving. Yep. Because it, it's all back roads. Me engineer one hundred. Oh, ah, Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. We got it. We're good. Yeah, I, I was anticipating that. <laughs> Fixed the uh, warning. If I ever get to have a ride on Bahamas, I'm just as soon as I hear that alarm, I'm just going to go press the Q button. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because I actually have real world experience with doing just that. Well, shouting, where's the Q button? Well, it was a case of we were leaving Howarth Yard, and the Worth Valley does actually have an AWS ramp. Does just it? Out, yeah, just outside of Howarth Yard, it's there for test purposes rather than. You know, actually needing to have one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were leaving Howarth Yard and we were going over that. Um, and um, the guy who'd played it just missed it. But Bahamas has the newest mainline AWS equipment, the newest system for it. Oh yeah. And none of us on the footplate knew how to clear it. Yeah. So. We'd just got to the AWS ramp, we'd just gone over it, and then we had to spend like five minutes basically running up going, who knows how to clear the AWS on it? Because <laughs> um, you've got to like do something for 30 seconds or something like that to clear it. Oh, right, okay. And reset it, so it's it's quite awkward. That's Abigail and Penn San. Yeah, I'm relying on you for route knowledge here, Reese. Yeah, I've never driven this route fully. Right. Yeah, so we're, we're both driving in the blind. Well, it can only go well. Right, she should just sit there quite happily. Sorry, I'm going to have to do a bit of moderating. Great to hear. Let's uh, put user in timeout and put user in timeout. People in the chat annoying me. <laughs> you can't behave, you don't get to type. That's as simple as. I like that rule. Okay, I need to do him as well. Wrong other guy. Timeout. You're all getting everybody's getting timeouts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the band hammer. 
For some reason, I can't put him in time. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> I hate having to do that on live streams. It's just like, come on, guys, have fun. Yeah. Free Stonely wants to be timed out as well. No, just because you've asked, I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> just instant ban instead. Yeah, just block you forever. <laughs> Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. How big's me fire? Nine, uh, six, one. About, about that big. So the next stop is uh, Landudna, which isn't actually that far away. No, it's we, um, a squiggly bit there. We do. Uh, uh, when we go in the station, we're going into platform four. At the end of the site, right, just by the, you can see it there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do a precision stop. Um, I tried to place it roughly where, if, you know, if you put a loco by the signal, or maybe a couple of metres back from the signal, then the tender should be in the right place for the water point. Okay, okay. But I'm not 100% sure that it's going to work. How much water do we have? Uh, 2,000 gallons, so we've used half the water. Yeah, we're probably going to need that. So, it's better that, to take it if we can. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought I blocked David Moyle. Let's uh, block him again. Hide user. He must have just set up another account. Uh, continue. Navs Media Productions says, Do you think the Snowden Mountain Railway should be made for train sim? Yes, most definitely. I'm going to say, well, like, not just specifically Snowden, but any unusual railways. I would love to see it, you know, the rack railways, because that's something that's never been done. Exactly, and you know, it's like let's, let's talk a broad gauge as well. For me, I would love to see more narrow gauge, more broad gauge, rack railway, the unusual stuff in train sim. Because, you know, it's nice to have all your modern routes and your modern stock and that, but you can go to any mainline station and watch that go past any day. Yeah, but you know. that's the thing is, um, it does seem that in train sim, the modern stuff seems to sell more. Which it's a bit Which, disappointing. It really. is disappointing to us because we're Steam fans. Um, just specifically Steam, but for me, it's what's the point in going home and playing in a on a game on something that you know you can go outside and do in real life. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I agree with you with that. To be honest, you know, I mean, for me, Train Simulator should be about about the stuff like you don't really get to do properly in real life. Well, we're slowing down quite a lot. Hmm. Oh, we are on a uh, bit of a gradient there. Yeah, and we don't really have the pressure to give it any more than what we're giving it at the moment. Well, I've shut, I've, I'm not injecting and I've got a decent fire so you can give her a bit... Well, you can't really give her a bit more. Um, the 42% um, the is about as much as I can give it um, to run it at max speed without sparking. Yeah. So we'll just have to cope with the hill. Like I said, we have got a long trip on for a Jubilee. We're designed for eight coaches and we've got 12. And one of them's a Mark II, which weighs more anyway. Yeah. Riley says that's probably why Dovetail are not fussed on making Steam for Train Sim World. Well, they have announced that they're going to. Um, they have announced that they're working on it, so I am. That's why I've bought Train Sim World 2. Because, purely because they said they are. They confirmed that they are working on it. That's the only reason I've gone ahead and uh, made the investment. Um, so I'm, I'm really hoping that the next few years we'll see Steam coming into the game. But, you know, until until we start seeing more development and more third-party developers being brought on board, you know, it's going to take a long time for that to become a thing. Yeah, personally, I'm going to wait till the fat lady sings. Yeah. You know, when they bring it in game, um, when you know, see it in game, and we know that it all works properly, then I might consider it. I mean, my uh, suspicion is that they're going to work on a seven F. And I don't know. I kind of think they'll go for flying Scotsman. I can understand why. Scotsman's my hunch. I, it's either going to be Scotsman or a Black Five or a seven F. I yeah. I, I can agree with them. I would say it's more likely going to be a 7F because of the West Somerset route. 
Yeah. Um, which I'd be quite happy with, actually, if they made a you know a new advanced seven F. But yeah, right. Don't... Yeah, we'll be starting over the hills again. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna have to reboot it in Train Sim World. Just gonna have to wait fifteen years for all the other locos to be developed for the game now. <laughs> but yeah, my suspicion for Scotsman is purely because it's like who doesn't know flying Scotsman? Yeah. So any loco that would sell. A flying Scotsman pack would definitely make it high profile. Yeah. And it I would... think in world we're trying to reach a more general audience as well yeah they're trying to make it an actual game rather than just a simulator yeah so i think flying scotsman would definitely be a good one to go for for that oh look at the camera Meow. so we're running alongside the main road now putting all those cars to shame don't adjust but car couldn't pull 12 coaches and do 60 mile an hour. Robert McGregor says Scotsman is a money pit. Meh. Well, yes, but is that really a bad thing? I mean, the thing with Flying Scotsman is Flying Scotsman brings a lot of people that have very little interest in railways to railways. It's, it's a name, isn't it? It's a famous name. Yeah. And, you know, personal opinion, I like the engine, but I don't think it's anything hugely special, and I think it's massively overrated. But, it plays an incredibly important role in keeping steam running on railways. I think it's, yeah, like the PR and the, um, the public relations aspect is everyone knows Flying Scotsman, so it's, yeah. I think Flying Scotsman serves a better role doing that nowadays yeah I mean I'm glad I'm actually I'm really glad it made it back to steam myself oh yeah so am I I mean I, I want to see every engine steam so for me any engine that's they put a fire in is a win but yeah I under, I do understand that it could be frustrating for people with how much it cost because it was oh. it wasn't cheap <laughs> The thing that frustrates me about it is that, yeah, it's a nice end. Ooh. What? What's up? Sam's <clears> shutting <throat> off. Okay, we got a problem. Uh, uh, two, we're two miles away, okay? Yep. But yeah, the thing that annoys me about Scotsman is, for the price it costs to do like up, you could have done up like, you know, what, three or four other engines from the NRM? Yeah. Yeah, you could have done at least two others if not more, and that, that's the bit that I find a bit sad, is that there's so many great engines there, but... They've taken a back seat because of Scotsman. Yeah. You know, for me it should be about all the engines, not just one. I mean, it's always going to be up for debate, isn't it? It's. Uh, I it, think forevermore in railway circles it will be up for debate. The thing is, it's a controversial engine, but the good it does for preservation, the amount of money it brings in, is undeniable, so... You know, it's, it swings and roundabouts, isn't it? You have to weigh up, you know, does the money that they put in equal to or bring back enough to justify the money it took to buy the engine and restore it? And I would say, given all, you know, the merchandise and stuff that goes on as well, I'd say it probably does. Yeah. I mean, they wouldn't obviously they wouldn't be doing it if there wasn't a money-making thing behind it. It's 50 zone yeah. up the header by the look of it. Is it 50? Yeah, it's 50 for landed. No, sir, you're all right. Yeah, but I need to be careful with this stop because I need to stop short and then move forward. Yeah. Michael96 Thompson says he has a question for you and Sam. Do you think Bahamas should be on Train Sim World? Yes, to put it simple. I think every Steam Loco should be in Train Sim World. I wanted, I've said it so many times, I've been quite negative about Train Sim World in the past, so I'm trying to turn over a new leaf and not be quite so negative about it. Um, which is spam queue, spam queue, spam queue, spam queue. 
it's quite difficult sometimes given you know all the things that have gone on and you know but they have confirmed that steam is coming so that's why i'm really pushing to try and you know give it a second chance for me um so yeah if bahamas was ever made for train sim world i'd be very happy to see it um go on in sam let's see you butter the bread I'm not going to lie, it's brown trousers time. Nah, I think I've got that. I was going to say you've got ages. There's the water tanker. I would say stop with the smoke box about four or five metres short of the signal. Oh, it's going to be difficult to judge because I can't remember exactly where I put the... Oh, stop now, stop now. I'm pretty sure that this is about it. Now, there we go. We'll put the... Oh, no, we won't put the handbrake on yet. Yeah, what we need to do is... Um, I'm pretty sure I put the watering point in line with this first lamppost. So we could, right. at, we could actually be on top of it right now. So let's press... Don't press T. Don't press T. Don't press T. Press if you press T, all the doors will open. Right, I'm pressing that. Just try clicking the water tanker for me. No. Ah, doing out. Let's just see on the... Um, is it 9? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's it's on the loco. Look, we need to move ahead. Yeah. Sorry, Sam. It's out in line with a chimney layer, I reckon. Yeah. So if we put the camera in line with the chimney, that is probably where the marker is. Right. I love the bass you get with the, the chuff. It does sound good. I'm hoping it'll sound even better soon. Yeah. And that's as much as I'm going to say on it. <laughs> Spoilers. <clears throat> so what we're doing right now, guys, is we've got to move the loco forward to a point where uh, when you add a water tanker or a water tail, you get a little marker thing that you put down on the track. So we're just moving the loco forward to the tender so that the tender is sitting on the water point. Uh, and then we'll actually be able to take on water. This is one of those silly things you have to do with trancing, which you don't have to worry about in real life. Yeah, exactly. And I hope in Trainsim World, if they bring steam in, that you can literally just pick up a hose and just chuck it in the water tank and turn it on. Let's have a go with it there. Right. Is that enough? It is. That's it. We're getting water. Hey! How about that? So there we are, guys. We are getting water. Well, while we're taking on water, let's uh, bail out all the... Yeah, abandoned train. <laughs> Evacuate the train. Well, I have pressed here, there, but no one seems to want to be getting off. Well, it's um, land dead now, isn't it? That's not surprising. <laughs> hmm. Nobody wants to get off. No one wants to get off at London, no. Oh, well. Gives us a chance to get me fire ready. Actually, I'll take some screenshots while we're here, while we're taking on water. Yeah, we're going to say screenshot time. Do, do, do. Oh, what happened then? Um, um, I'll tell you what, give us a second. On, Let's you... shut the... Um... I'll stick the handbrake on. Yeah, let's just... Let's not waste steam. Although we're not sat here blowing off, which is quite surprising. Right. Oh, I'll tell you what, I bet we can... I bet if we turn around there... We should be able to still see that <laughs> thing going up. Look at that, isn't that fancy? We can see the water gauge going up. And it's going... I like the fact that it goes realistically slow. Yeah, I don't know if that's a BMG thing or a water tanker thing or both, but... I mean, I think that might even be a bit quick. Yeah, I think it is a little bit quick. But I would say so, uh, it just fills up the entire thing in like seconds, and you're like, oh. Yeah, 
Water must be stop very should be hard. like, especially on a mainline run, I'd say at least like five to ten minutes. Yeah. Let's right, it's all yours, Reese. Go on in. Let's take some screenies while we're here at uh, Land Dead Note. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying the live stream. Feel free to ask questions about the pack. This is uh, just as a reminder. The BLS pack, which is in development from Blast Pipe Productions. And it will be available for £14.59. pence. Do you know what, Reese? I might hold you to that. <laughs> what, 59 pence? Yep. What? Okay. <laughs> I'm up for that. Yeah, I might charge. I've a lot. I'm gonna charge fifty-five pound ninety-six pence. Oh, that, that's a better price, I think. You don't or want maybe ten pound fifty-four pence. You don't want to price. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, see, the penny drop. The pennies dropped. I like it. <laughs> ten pound fifty-four. Considering it's got all the guys' ten fifty-four as one in preservation, ten pound fifty-four might be a very apt price. Do you know what? When we uh, leave, I think we'll stand on this bridge. For a, yeah, it's a nice spot. It's a nice spot for a departure shot, I think. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. How are we doing in the cab? Oh, we're nearly full. Right, well, uh, I'll leave you. Um, I'm just going to go to the injector. toilet. Injector. Yeah. Um, get it. Get the boiler absolutely full while we're taking on water. She's not happy. Yeah, she'll be right. Um, is that boiler pressure reading 154? It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, I'll bring the fire around. <laughs> Why is the trimmer not working? Try using the other injector. Because the left injector wouldn't work earlier. That's uh, working now. She's temperamental. Aye. She's a temperamental girl. The left injector wouldn't work when we set off. But now it's the right injector that don't want to work. Right, well, if you want to go to Lou while we're stopped at the station, I'll keep an eye on engine. Alright, I'll only be a second. Right. Uh, yes, I am deliberately overfilling the boiler. You are deliberately overfilling. Yep. Well, I'm ready now. Right, engines all yours again, then. All right, I'll take back the. Let's take the brakes off. Uh, before we set off. What? I'm just going to press T again just to top up those few gallons we've used. Go on in. Well, it's nearly hundred gallons. Yeah. Let's just. Um... Oh, 100 gallons there, just, you know, sitting in the station. There we go. Right, let's just double check we haven't got anyone trying to jump on or off. Especially on, we'll get the security guys to reject them. Any last minute jumpers? I'm pretty sure that um, even Mark 1s have to have the locks on them now on the main line. Yep. Blowing off. Mad for IT. Mad for it. 
Oh, look, banana. It's appropriate because I was advertising this live stream as bananas. There we go, you've got your bananas, people. But hey, I wasn't lying to you. Oh, look, America. Train Sim New York. I do love the DTG adverts. Anyway, Reese, do we want to hop onto the bridge? Yeah. Um, you need to take the brakes off and put the reverser in, but... Uh, yeah, I'll be right. Well, how about that? We'll actually stand on the bridge, though, rather than uh, floating. Yeah, that'll do, I think. Right, well, we're all set up for our departure shot. Should I zoom it? No, I prefer that. Lovely gerbler. All right, chaps. We are going to set off from Landerdno. We've got a stop at Bangor, a stop at Landfairpool, and then Hollyhead. So, not Where sure. is Bangor? Bangor is how many miles? 15 miles, then Landfairpool is 18 miles. So we got two stops there, quite short spacing. And then we got then another 20 miles off to Hollyhead. Right. So, you probably want to get some screenshots as we go past um, the castle as well. Yeah, you have to remind me to get um, get ahead. Yeah, because that's not far after leaving here. Oh, after leaving London? No. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so I better be ready for uh, screenshotting then. Yeah, it's like just over the bridge. We ready? Nope. <laughs> wow, stop playing with your whistle. I'll, t I'll just turn the HUD off just so we can have a nice, uh, yeah. nice view. I love the fact that you get the with Bossman Games locos. You know the steam coming out the cylinder drains. Yeah, it actually matches the the chuffing and yeah, I love it. Yeah, the BMG locos are not good if you want to jump in and go for a quick easy drive, but if you want a realistic challenge, especially with a oh. multiplayer. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Did you hear the echo in as it went into the bridge? Yeah. That is epic. Sorry, I interrupted you there. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, all right. There's a 45 mile an hour restriction through Conway. Well, it's okay because we're going to just pretend we can't see that. <laughs> if you can't speed speed signs, they don't exist, right? Yep. That's what I always learned. If what you don't know can't hurt you. Yeah. I've noticed the stream strength is a lot better since my wife went to bed and stopped watching Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think there's a correlation there somewhere. Well, uh, certainly a causation. What's the speed limit? 45. Oh, wait, hang on. You, literally right here. Yep. I told you, there's a bridge we go over and then it's just after the bridge. Right, we need to get some screenshots then. I will. I can pause the game as well, just so you know, so we can get some cracking screenshots. Yeah. Do you know, this is the first time I've actually driven this route properly, you know. I didn't know that. I don't know why, it's one of those routes, it's just, I bought it, I bought the extension as well. And it's just eluded me all this time. Yeah. There's several routes like that. Yeah, just check F5 a second. I want to see what my reverse is at. What does that say? 51%. Ooh, yeah, that should be fine for a bit. Spam Q, spam Q, spam Q. Yep. Right, go for your screenshots then, Reese. Um, Sorry, is this the Britannia Bridge or no? It's not. No, this is the other one. I'm trying to think of some good. Oh, hang on. There's a nice one just getting it coming out of the um, out of the tunnel there with a castle in the background. I suggest pausing the game for it. Yeah. How about that? You you want to get a few? Yeah, pause the game. Pause the game. Get a good angle. I'll wait until she's just coming out the tunnel. Right. Oh, 
That'll do it. Right. You've stopped right with a bush in front of her. I know. I'll have to go a bit further ahead. Uh, right. Line siding and castles and train sim. See, the best thing about train sim is that you can be everywhere at once. Right, we'll leave it paused there. We'll get some uh, arty farty shots. Lovely. We'll go for a reflection shot. See if you can get one there. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on. How about that? That'll do. Trying to get all the castle and the train in as well. You can have any of these screenshots as well for your advertising. Lovely, Jabla. If you have any ideas, people in the chat, just let me know. Go for a head out at cam. Head out at cab view. See, if, see what you can get with that. I'm trying to be all uh, sophisticated now. <laughs> that does look good. What was it? Um, oh, I can't do it right now, can I? Let's uh, let's see if I can. Can't do it, indeed. <laughs> Not with that attitude. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I go to... Um, um, Alright, well, let me turn up the escape menu. Robert is saying, um, on the platform at Con, we coming through the archway. That's the one I was thinking of. There's an arch that we, we pass through, isn't there? Yeah. I'm guessing it's a bit further on. By the time we unpause the game, I'll have forgotten what the fire's doing. <laughs> it should be alright till we get through the archway at least. Yeah. See, this is why I've always struggled with live streams is driving and firing, but then trying to do line side fancy cam camera work as well. So doing these virtual foot plate runs and using the pause button, you know, it's actually working out quite nice. Hmm. I think we're a little bit too close there, aren't we? Oh, look at that face. See, on that one, you've got the, the dead eyes. But, on this other gentleman over here, you've got, uh, you've got beautiful eyes. The only issue is... See, look, beautiful eyes. The only issue is you can see them. Through the back of your head. Through the back head? of your head. Not terrifying. Not terrifying in any way. <laughs> I love how you can just sort of see the inside of his nose as well there. Uh. But I love how bloodshot they are as well. It looks like he's just taken about six lines of cocaine. <laughs> right. Uh, 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 are we ready? I'll, let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll... Um... Oh yeah, we're off. Ah, this is the archway I was on about. Yeah, I'd suggest pausing it when we get near here. All right, let me. Uh, know. Where are we at? Okay, we'll be right so we get through. So yeah, I'd suggest pausing it about there. Um, we can oh, go. Look, for... look at that! Try and get yeah, try and get that arch in as well. Uh, let's let's put my air level photography skills to the test Go here. Go on in, Sam. Show off. Use your sh photography skills. Well, one line, if you want to unpause it for a second or two. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Right. 
That's um Oh yeah. I love the uh, the danger risk of injury or death sign as well. Quite fitting for a castle really, isn't it? It is, yeah. We want to unpause it again, like just get around that curve a bit more. Yeah, about there. Can have another go with it there. I mean, I love the fact that they built a railway through a castle. Yep. But not only did they build it through a castle, they didn't just demolish the castle, they actually incorporated it in yeah, the bridge. You know, that's brilliant. Built the castle around it. I think it's that's absolutely most, brilliant. Uh, it's one of my most favourite pieces of railway architecture, is that it just fits in with it so nice. I can't think of anywhere in the world, anywhere else in the world, where they've done anything like that. The only place I can think of is York, and even then, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, that's that run through the arch a bit more. Uh, yep, that'll do. Should we have a shot from up on the castle wall? As though someone's Ooh. standing there? Yeah, let's go for that. I'm going to have a lot of screenshots to send to you. Oh, mate. If you, oh, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, yes. Uh, that look, is looking for your apartment list. That is superb. That is absolutely superb. See, this is why... What you need in real life is you need a freeze time button. Yeah. Look at that. That's if, epic. Uh, if we swivel it around a little bit more, we're going to have to be really gentle with our buttons here. We should be able to get it. Yeah, moving the free... If we had the Xbox controller plugged in, it'd be far easier to do this. Do you want to have a go with that? Let it run forward a little bit more and pause it again bit more. There's that. I think that's about as good as we'll get. That does look pretty epic. Castle in the background, Steam Loco. It's, if I move it just a little bit like that. Oh, it's a little bit too much. Uh, I don't know, because you got the train in then as well. Which I'm, were quite nice. I'm trying to move the camera up. Or oh, is that... You've got is so delicate, aren't you? You've got to just literally one tiny little press of the key. If it was the Xbox controller, it'd be far more easy to do this. I'm trying to be all arty farty with this. <laughs> got a few good shots there, though. Aye. There's a few there for your advertising campaign. Yep, if we want to go, um, if we go have a swivel around here, we should be able to get a nice one. Oh, that's good as well on the other side. Yeah, just as it comes through the wall there. Uh. Tonight on Angry Welshman Productions, a class in taking a perfect screenshot. I'm not going to blow my own trumpet too much, but I'm actually really quite proud of these screenshots. <laughs> I actually feel quite proud. They, I think they look really smart. So if I run so, it forward a little bit. Run it forward a little bit. Can you see where the mouse is? Um, yeah. About there. About... <sighs> yeah, we'll get one there, and then a little bit more. Yeah, that's the one. That's the money shot right there, isn't it? Yeah, I hope Michael's watching this. Because uh, me and Michael do line siding at the Worth Valley. Um, King Ori says, how many screenshots have you got on your computer? Well, on my hard drive, because uh, I keep them on my hard drive, I've got maybe 15,000 screenshots from Train Sim. <whistles> yeah, it's quite a lot. It's I an impressive collection. I was going to say, in every live stream, I don't just take one screenshot, I take about 400. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes you need to take your 400 screenshots. Well, do you know what? I'm going to start doing like a favourites um, 
album or something of all my favourite screenshots that I've taken. And some of them I'm really proud of. It's almost like doing railway photography, but we're, it's all digital, you know? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the camera settings, just the positioning. Yeah. I let it run forward a bit more till it's about there, till you can see the whole local and tender. How's that? A little bit more. A little bit more. There you go. Ah, oh, just missed it. Ah. Oh. You just missed it with the rods down. Sorry. Just have to uh, make, make right. do by there. We'll go for that. We've just got a bit of a castle in the top there. Can see Art Loco clearly. Harry Maudsley says if you could stand on the arch, it would make a good train spot in place. Can you? I guess you can't go up on that wall in real life, then. I don't think so. It looks abandoned. It looks like it's all overgrown. Yeah. Do you want to run it forward a little bit more just and see if you can catch it with the rods down? There we go. There we go. That's the ticket. You always want rods down. For some reason, it always looks better with the rods down. I think it looks like the space is filled up a bit better. Yeah. Shall we see if we can get a comma sign in as well? <laughs> Help! <laughs> <clears throat> Help, Let's... there's a banana passing through the station. Uh, I've not publicly announced my... Um... Horrific reskin idea for it, have I? No. <laughs> Do you want to unpause it again? Try and get the front of the loco about where the mouse is. Yeah, that'll do. We still got 40 miles left to run. It's already yep. 10 o'clock. We've been going 2 hours 10 minutes. We should have been there by now. <laughs> Uh, Whoops. That's alright. That was two hours, twenty minutes running, but that was assuming we stopped at each station for twenty seconds. Yeah. So, you know, we've done a few minutes at each station. And, and a few minutes. And a few minutes with time paused standing still. <laughs> yeah, but do you know what I like about time paused standing still? is that the please do not leave bags unattended thing is still scrolling across the screen. <laughs> so time is frozen, but please do not leave your bags unattended. Nothing stops the announcement boards. Nothing not stops <laughs> safety announcements. Unattended baggage will be removed and will be destroyed. <laughs> Great, Reese. I think we're ready to continue on if you are. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm happy to jump back in the cab. So we'll unpause it there and back in the cab. Let's see what the fire's doing. Get on the shovel straight away. Ah, oh, I love the glow you get. Oh, look, look at that. That was cool. It's just a bit too bright during the day, but at night and in tunnels, it's absolutely spectacular. I would love to do a night run with, you know, like... A long night run, you know, with like the Armstrong powerhouse um, night packs, you know, the lighting effects. Yeah. But the thing is, it's very difficult to live stream a night run. You can't really see much, can you? Because, you know, for like 10 minutes between stations, the audience just won't see anything. Do you know what I think we should do? I think we should try and do. Um Try and do a reasonable length stream, but we'll do it at sunset, so we'll do it so that it's light when we set off, but it'll be dark when we get there. I did that before on one of the Land Air Dog runs, um, yeah. and it, it was very difficult at the end because I was trying to shunt back on shed and I just couldn't see anything. Yeah, I did it with, you know when we did the singles race? Oh yeah, you. oh that's right, you arrived at York in the night, didn't you? Yeah, I think I got the timing we're like just about right. It yeah. worked quite nicely. Now I think it gets a bit more hilly when we've passed on to Angorsi. So. so Chaz's trains has made a funny comment. Yep. He thought the speed limit through Conway was 45, not zero. 
<laughs> I only just noticed that comment. Well, I mean, technically we were doing 45 mile an hour. Time just stood still. Time stands still. <laughs> really good song by a really good band actually time stands still it's by a band <laughs> called rush one of my favorite bands actually q q q q q q q q q i love so, how so, as that button goes when we both press it uh 55 mile an hour coming up yeah well, that's not a problem i think we're coming up to the tunnels now yeah there's a good screenshot chance on this curve if you want to go line side for a minute or two yeah Go on in, I'll just do a bit of... Ah, no, I've just exited Train Sim. Hang on. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, if you go up near the tunnel, um, you can just get it when it's coming off that, t uh, um, going off that curve. Yeah, there you are, on that bit of road there. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's have a look at the cab. Oh, 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 oh. If you do it at lower speeds as well, you can get all the um, you can get the light flashing on the firebox. Oh, nice! You can't see it because we're flashing it, but if we were doing heritage line speed, you'd be able to see that. Yeah. Back up to seventy-five mile an hour. Now we are properly on the North Wales coast now. We are properly on the North Wales coast. Let's get that set to... Welsh Marches is a good route for us to do screenshots. The Welsh Marches route is also a killer, as yeah. we found out. Which, while Locus, were we driving, Sam? It was the... Um... I driving this one. You were driving Bahamas? Was, yep. it, was it the one where I was driving the Black 5 and it completely bugged on me? Yep. Yeah. It was while well, I were driving Bahamas and I were going up the hill at about one mile an hour. Oh, out, out of Bristol, wasn't it? Q, Q, yeah, Q, Q. I massively overloaded it. I think there's supposed to be some good, um, some good screenshot opportunities coming up. Yeah. Looks like it. Look at that. This is a proper North Wales coast. Yep. Yeah, look at a go. We got a comment from JTE Gahir and Knuckles says he's bored. Why do people watch my live streams and then just type that they're bored? If you're bored, don't watch it. Go away and do something. Don't need to type that you're bored. <laughs> Me Engineer 100 says this is the best section of the line. Yeah, this is where you see a lot of videos of how it is on the North Wales coast. I've actually driven along this route. Robert has been working on a scenario with Galatea from Shrewsbury to Cardiff with a 40 minute water stop at Hereford, which would be ideal for a loco swap with Bahamas on. Actually, it's funny he says that because I'm pretty sure one of the first runs in when Steam returned to the main line, it wasn't the first, but it was like in the first couple of years, uh, was it King George V, number 6000, took the train from Cardiff to uh, Hereford. And then Bahamas took it from Hereford to Crewe. Yeah, it's... Uh, Le King was the first loco to break the steam ban, but Bahamas was the second. Yeah. Um, and the Bahamas Locomotive Society was part of a small group of um, various heritage organisations. Like, they all grouped together to petition BR to allow steam to return to the main line. Well, I've got that book, Steam on the Main Line, in the early 70s. So that's that's quite a good read, actually. But it's, yeah, and if, uh, if you have a listen to that audio CD as well, Reese, 
Um, that audio CD tells the story of the early days of BLS. Yeah. Um, and that it explains it in there about how they were part of a team that helped see Steam return. Yeah. Oh, we're approaching... Oh, Bangor is in 8.9 miles. Ah, uh, yeah. Plenty to go, yeah. I just shut off the injector to try and uh, give us a bit of steam back because we're down to 187. Joe Light Railway is asking, uh, Bahamas Group own the coal tank as well as Bahamas. No, they don't actually own the coal tank. That's the National Trust, isn't it? The National Trust owns the coal tank, but the coal tank is in the care of the Bahamas Locomotive Society. Um, so we don't actually own it, but we are responsible for it. Yeah. Theoretically speaking, if they wanted to, the National Trust could turn around and go, we want our engine back. But yeah, I believe she's actually technically still registered to um, one of the castles in Wales. Is she? Yep. I, uh, I knew that she was, like, she had something to do with North Wales, didn't she? Yeah, I can't remember the exact, uh, the exact castle it is, but it was... Basically, she was sent there because they had indoor storage and it was somewhere fairly safe for the engine. Yeah. Um... Uh, because of course this was the core tank was the first standard gauge mainline steam engine to be preserved by public fundraising. So it was a real trailblazer in the preservation world. But of course, at that point there was nowhere to send it. Yeah. So it ended up with a national trust in this castle because it could be taken care of there. Um, but. Shortly after that, it passed into the care of the Bahamas Locomotive Society when they moved in at Dinton. Um, and it's been with them ever since. Sorry, I was playing with the whistle. <laughs> yeah, we need to let a bit of that coal burn through. Yeah, I just dumped a load of coal on. I'm trying Good to... Boiler pressure. Yeah, boiler pressure is holding. But it's not nah, going up. Yeah, it's over-firing. Only a little bit. Look at that nice, clean smoke. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what Bahamas thinks of that. <laughs> Me Engineer 100 says it was bought by the railway stuff at Bangor. So actually, um, Bangor is where the coal tank... Oh, that's right, because... Um, well, it's funny because she was stored at Pontypool Road. Cause yep. she, she ran as a snowplow until whatever year it was. Yep. Um, and then she was withdrawn and she was put into storage. And when, I think it was when Abergavenny Brecon Road shed closed, they transferred it to Pontypool Road for storage pending scrapping. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure how long she was at uh, Pontypool Road, but I got a picture of it somewhere in storage. But yeah, it's that hilarious story from that book I bought, Sam, where the coal <laughs> tank was chasing the freight that it was banking. Yeah, that's 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 tickled me. That has. so um, to explain the, uh... to explain to everyone in the chat, there's um, I've been doing a lot of research for Over the Hills, and I found. A, a book all about like firemen and drivers stories from the days of steam and it's from Pontypool Road drivers so local to my area but they used to use coal tanks on um, banking duties up from Pontypool Road up, to, up past Abergavenny um, and one of the firemen actually he wrote a story about uh, he, what was he? he was sat at a signal box waiting for a down train to return to the shed and there was a coal tank which was supposed to be banking a freight northbound but it was like 10 feet behind just chasing the freight because it couldn't keep up which I think is hilarious 
but needless to say that's pretty much why those engines were withdrawn from banking duties. Yeah, it got to a point where, um, I mean, Lacour tanks had exceptionally good life. They were designed with a working life of 50 years, and that were in 1888, and they almost ended up doubling that. Yeah. You know, um, I think 1054, when that were withdrawn, it wasn't far off um, doing an extra 30 years on what it was supposed to. I've let the fire well, burn a little bit more. Yeah, what's it at now? Uh, 880, but we are making steam, we're up to 200 pounds. So I'm going to try and keep her at 950. Maybe even try for 900, you know, looking at how well we're making steam. Although you are injecting at the moment, are you? No, I shut the injector off, but I might put it back on, because we are making steam. Yeah. Try and keep it 900 to 950 then, I reckon. Yeah. I was doing like 900 to 1000, but that... Every time I go up to a thousand, it's just slightly too much. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We've got nice steam now. Yeah, until I do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> mm. So how long? 3.2 miles to Bangor. Yeah, so we're, we're eating up the miles now. We're going to have to... Robert McGregor says the ideal fire mass is 870 to 920. Well, that's useful information to have. Thank you for that, Robert. Yeah, so a thousand would have been overdoing it, Len. Yeah. I'd explain why it kept bombing the pressure. Yeah, so incompetent firing. When has that it never been a problem? Yeah. I think I'm injecting right now. Um, someone asking what load have we got? We've got 11 Mark 1s and a Mark 2. We're not too far from Bangor now, those two tunnels on approach. Yeah. Well, we're making steam at last. But then you're going to have to shut off it a bit anyway. Yeah. Do you know what? I know we've only been doing 60 mile an hour, but we got 12 on and we, you know, she's not doing bad. Uh, I said when um, I was talking to you about how many we should take, didn't I? I said I'd managed to... I hadn't managed to get up to 75, but I'd managed to do pretty much 60 or above the whole way. We've been around about the 60 mark for most of it, I reckon. Yeah. Which, you know, that's only the equivalent of a black five. Um, and for 12 on it, it's not bad going. Ooh. See, watch what happens if I open the reg to the light in the cab. It should start flashing. There we go. Here we are. Look at that. Ooh. If I shut off again. Oh, oh. I came out the tunnel. Yeah, we're um Let's think about breaking. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure where the station is. Um, well, it's about a mile away. Well, there's the... Um, oh, spam queue. <laughs> I guess that's the fixed... Um, yeah. Hmm, 15. I don't I think, don't I don't think we need to... Uh, I don't think we need to go over the points, though. I'm pretty sure yeah. it's just a straight, straight platform. I don't want to take the risk. And we are stopping, aren't we? Yeah, yeah we are. Well, we've used 500 gallons since landed, no? Yeah, I think we did the right thing taking on water. I don't think we could have made that run without doing water. Or if, if we did, it would have been running low, wouldn't it? Yeah, we certainly couldn't have done it with your firing. <laughs> I'd like to just point out, I've actually, have I run out of steam? No, you haven't. You've actually been doing a pretty decent job. Yeah, there we are. And considering we don't do this every day. Yeah. No, you, you have done a fair job. 
I would like to do some more. Um, oh my god, we need. Drop brakes, drop the brakes. I told you it was a 15. I didn't think it was. I didn't think. Oh my god. Yeah, now everybody in the chat is saying drop the anchors. Yeah, that's right. It's alright. We've only spilt a few cups of tea. Yeah. David in the first class coach is going to be upset. Let's turn the blower on. You'll turn into the loop immediately after the tunnel. Okay. Let's turn the blower off. Pressure's come round. Nice. Look, we're uh, stopping. I'll have to get some screenies as well. Oh, well, well, Reese, I can't see my stopping point. It's all right. There, you did a good job. <laughs> Handbrake's going on. Right. There we go. Right, I'll just go take some screenies. I don't think we're going to be here long. Yeah. Apparently if we look to his left we can see the old engine shed. To the left. Is it that where all the cars are parked, or...? I assume it's where the car park is, yeah. It's amazing that, like, so many big stations had engine sheds. Yeah. You know, like... I wouldn't really describe Bangor. I mean, you got to look and think how many bay platforms they had, and, you know, it's just two platforms now. Yeah. I mean, you can see from the shape of it, there must have been a track there. I don't know how yeah. it would have gone into the tunnel, but uh, that bridge as well, you'd have had two more tracks at least there, wouldn't you? Yeah. And then you had bays here as well. God, this, the amount of passenger workings that must have gone on. Now you've got two platforms and that's it. It makes you wonder like how much... Oh, what's the word? How much is it lost? How many passenger services have been lost to time? Yeah. Am I injecting? I must be. Oh, I am now. <laughs> what you're doing now is blowing steam everywhere. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Just trying out the injectors. They're both working right now. Yeah, well, you look to be leaking water on one of them. Seems alright. Oh, that's a nice screenshot. <laughs> that's a nice screenshot, he says, before we immediately faceplant in a post. Knocks himself completely unconscious. <laughs> right, um, I've opened the doors. Lovely job, lad. Take the handbrake off and we'll get ready to go, is it? Aye. Let's do some shoveling, because I love shoveling. You said you'd open the doors. I press T. Yeah, there we are. Ah, there we go. Get off. Everybody get off. The engine shed is currently for sale. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I think it must be. It must be that shed. It must be that. Yeah. Maybe that shed. Maybe. That looks railway. -y. Probably mean, one of the sheds. I would love to buy an old motive power depot and just rebuild a few tracks in there, and you know, just have a few locos. Ladies and gentlemen, Reese is now accepting donations. Yep, let's help help Reese buy a motive power depot and fulfil his long-held ambition. 
Do we want to go line side for a departure again? Yeah. Go on in. Um, Just because it's one of the few times we don't have to focus too much. Right. You're all set in here. We'll go look in the signal box, I think. Ooh, poop, poop. Boop, 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 boop. I'll just turn the hood off. Yep. Which, which I can't do, apparently. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I think if. I think you can only hold down two or three keys at once, and if you're holding more than that, it just doesn't recognise it. Yeah. The old steam depot is the closest building to platform two. Okay. Yeah, so it'll be like one on the left then. Considering I made the scenario, apart from that one hiccup at Chester, I think it's gone alright. Yeah, I think it's gone quite well. Alright, there was that one little hiccup, but potato potato. Oh, flange squeal. Hell yeah. I love a bit of flange squeal. One thing I'm going to start doing for these live streams is if I make a scenario like this, I'm going to try and add some AI traffic just to give a bit of variety. Yeah, I did try looking for a route, like, um, looking for a proper North Wales coast scenario that like, had AI traffic so I could just swap out the loco, but I couldn't really find one that were a full run using the proper timetable without breaking it up into lots of little bits. Yeah. Oh, goodbye boiler pressure. Yeah, what that means is Sam needs to notch down, but unfortunately someone's holding down other keys so I can't. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Somebody without naming names, of course. Well, of course. Hmm, actually, I wonder what happens if... Ah, the sparks don't show up any clearer. That's disappointing. Hey, it's white smoke now, though. Oh, Robert says he's got a scenario with 46100 we could have. With Royal Scott. Yeah, right. That's tidy. Well, that would be much appreciated if you it did. Would, yeah. Yeah, I think once I've got this um, pack ready for release, Reese, I think we'll have to have another go with it. Maybe we'll do a different run. Yeah, we've got the. Um, we'll have that core tank one with it planned as well. Yeah, we're going to do another virtual footplate at some point using the coal tank, but we'll probably run from Hollyhead to Blinder Fastidiog, won't we? Something like that, yeah. We'll need a lot of water stops for it, though. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to have to um, figure that out. There we are, that's a nice shot. I'll turn the hood off. Sparks. Yeah, see, look, you get shadows of trees on it. That works really well, those textures. Yeah, it would. Ooh, look, we've got a nice bit of lean there. It was tricky to get the balance. But I think I'm pretty happy with where it is. It's nice to see you get back into uh, reskinning and making mods. Yeah. Oh, 40 it... speed limit. Sorry, Sam. Yeah, I know what that's for. And I think we're going because a bit too we're going on a uh, single line, aren't we? Yeah, we're about to go over a famous bridge. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pause. <laughs> oh, I've just minimised train sim again. Right. Are you doing that? No. Nope. Okay, uh, let me just unpause, save, turn the hood off. 
Okay, we are speeding slightly, but I'm going to put that down to... Oh, that is quite... Uh... It's a nice curve around here. Look at that. I have shut off steam, so we are coasting now. Let's have a look at this bridge. Oh, hello, bridge. <laughs> uh, where, down, bridge. Where's a good place to go and get some screenies? I'd say at the first end of the bridge when it's coming onto the bridge because you can get a bit of a curve in there. Oh, look at that. Um, and then once you've got your screenshot there, I'd say pause it and then go along. Um, and yeah, Robert McGregor, if you want to um, if you want to drop us a message to either of our Facebook pages with uh, any information about that scenario, that'd be much appreciated. Just trying to be all arty farty again. <laughs> Try getting one on the inside of the curve. Um. It almost looks like it's about to fall over. Go yeah. On. You want to go about... Yeah, yeah, about there. Looks like someone's just turned the picture around, doesn't it? Yeah. Britannia anyway, Bridge. Yeah. We, need, um, we need a good place to get a screenshot on the bridge, don't we? That might be alright, just where we were then. Getting perilously close to Anglesey now. <laughs> right. Uh, well, let's get a shot of the Britannia Bridge just while we're here so we know where we are. Where are we? I've just unpaused it. Are we nearly there yet? We're not far off. But we are going a little bit too fast. Yeah. I... I can't see the speed, so I'm just going to ignore it. Well, to be fair, this is another point where train sim and trying to do f fancy line siding things, you know, you can't drive a train professionally and film it at the same time. Yeah. That's what I've learned. Let's try and get a reflection shot. It's, it's just impossible, you know, you're trying to drive to speed limits, but then how can you keep to a speed limit when you're flying around trying to get a good picture? When you can't actually look at all the controls and where you are. So I find you've got to have all the HUDs and that up to be able to do a proper job of it. But then, if you've got all the HUDs up, you can't do any filming, so... What do you think? Yeah, let it roll a bit more. Might be able to get a full length train Yep, there it is. How's it about there? Yeah, lovely jubbler. Go for um, we'll go for a straight side on shot. I think. Oop. Go on, you move the camera. Let's. Reese is currently sailing up this uh, stretch of water. Yeah, I'm piloting a ship up the river. We're about to twat the middle uh, pier. <laughs> he's um, he's going in a brown trousers mode. <laughs> Harder, full of head, full of stern. So we get that filled up nicely. Yeah, look at that. There's something lovely about a steam engine going over a bridge. Especially a famous bridge like this. Especially a famous bridge. The Britannia Bridge. This is a, a new version though, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Um, the original burnt down in a fire, didn't it? Did it burn down or was it? I thought it was... Um, it just got life expired. No, I thought... It, I. I was under the impression that the original one was it was um, burnt down in a fire. I'll and have to see if anyone it knows. I know there's somewhere nearby there is actually a preserved section of it. It's on the bank somewhere. Yeah. I didn't know it was single track. Yep. Quite an interesting bit of track there. Yeah, it burned down in 1970. Oh, goodness. Do you know what? I never knew that. I'm going to have to do a bit of research, I think. I did not know why. How did it burn? How does a steel bridge burn? 
I think it was the wooden bits on the bridge that burnt. Oh. Um, but yeah, I can't remember the exact story behind it, but... I'll have to have a look. I'm sure people in the chat will tell us. What speed? Oh, we're actually doing the speed limit. Are we? Yeah. Ah. Oh, we are. Yeah, like I said, we're just coasting. I'm Once pretty we get sure we need to double check. Oh yeah, 0 0.7 miles, look. We've got to stop coming up, land purple. Yeah, although well, we are only doing 40, so I don't have to worry about dumping it on too much. Then after land fair, it's all ahead to Hollyhead. It is. I think it's about um, 20 miles from here to Hollyhead. Yeah, we've got to be very careful coming into Hollyhead, though. Yeah, there's some nasty speed restrictions there, I think. Yeah, and there's not much warning on them either. I think it goes from like 75 to 10, like straight away. There's not much room for slowing down. Blow it. A group of teenagers accidentally set the Britannia Bridge on fire. Uh. My dad brought me to this station once. At least if it's assuming it's the station that I think it is. It's the one with a really long name and I've just lost the brakes. Ah, there we go. There it is. That's beautiful. Okay guys, this is not normally a rail tour stop. I've stopped here purely to entertain Sam. So uh, we need to just simply hop out and have a little look. It's a tiny little halt, but here it is in all its beautiful glory. Um, I believe this is actually the longest station name anywhere in the world, isn't it? It is, yes. Lan Viapul Ginge Go Ge Quen Drubble Lantisili I Go Go Go. I can't even oh, say that fast. Let's try again. Lan Viapul Go Ge Quen Go Ge Go Ge Drubble Lantisili I Go Go Go. Oh, as most of us call it Lanfair. Yes. I think they just call it Lan Viapul. Yeah. Land viable. See if I can get a shot of it with uh, the Harmers. Tell you what you could get. What? Oh, a fancy shot through the window. If we'd stopped it in the right spot. Oh, yeah. Half a cabbage in the way. Never mind. But I reckon if we... Um... There was a book that I had when I was a kid, and uh, oh, you're doing an arty farty shot from the, the seats. I like that. That's quite good. Uh. There was a funny book I had when I was a kid. I think some Larry's Great Western, and they said that the LNWR sold the rights to use this station name to the Great Western because they didn't build an engine long enough to hold the nameplate on it. <laughs> You could have stuck one of these on a duchess, it would have been great on a duchess. You could have had it going all the way from the boiler to a, from smoke box to cab. <laughs> right then, anyway, uh, we'll just take a quick screeny while we're here. Oh, Sam, it's right there we, on the building. We missed it. Look, it's, let go of the camera set, let go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's right there all along. Look. Do you reckon that's the original sign? The BR sign at least. It could be. 
That's my new favourite screenshot. Bahamas with that side in the background. It's a shame that there's a lamppost right there. Well, we can fix that, can't we? Yeah. Oh no, you're actually going to get in the world editor and get rid of the lamppost. He's actually going to do it. This is something you can't do in real life, chats. Well, you can, but it'll just get you arrested. Oh, that's not fair. It's part of the station. That's not fair. That, that is AIDS. <laughs> they did that on purpose, didn't they? Okay, sorry, I just need to do more uh, moderation on the chat. No, give me the mouse a sec. Uh, yeah. Putting you in timeout because you're annoying me. Come on, guys, we're in the last 20 minutes of the stream. Don't yeah. ruin it now. Apparently, the original board is at uh, York. Oh, yeah, I remember now. It's in the York Museum, isn't it? Right, let's shut that. Let's shut that. Actually, let's open that and then let's shut that. Right, the last log. Railway drive. Right, gently does it. Full rag. I guess you never heard of wheel slip. Well, the thing is, we've got a heavy enough train and we're in good weather conditions so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Like, the engine's working hard enough that like it's not actually causing us a problem. Yeah. Arthur Hill is asking, do you reckon you do a stream or some videos of the New Zealand Railway Midland Mainline? I did buy it, and I have yet to do a live stream, so I think it'll either be next week or... I mean, this the, the problem is um, I've got to plan train sim live streams on my week off. Like, other than that, I'm doing like the Derail Valley series or impromptu live streams um, on those in-between weeks because I can't guarantee that I'll actually be here if that makes sense because I'll be working but it doesn't mean I'm definitely going to be working but it means I have to be on standby so if I do like a live stream which you know I can cancel at the last minute whereas train sim stuff I, I'd rather not cancel at the la last minute yeah and it's um it's worth mentioning as well with that New Zealand route it may actually be worth waiting a bit with it because yeah. uh, I know like the guys that are doing it have got uh, they've got some cunning plans. Uh, we are working on some steam engines which should be released later on in the year with any luck. Yeah. So it may be worth waiting for them to take one of them over the route instead. To be honest, I ideally I would like to drive it with a steamer. Yeah, I had a go. You remember them machine mail things? Yeah. The, uh, the German looking machine rail one, I took over it, which were quite nice. Oh yeah, the um, the ten couple thing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think it would be worth waiting until there's a proper, proper New Zealand steamer to take with it. Um, and it is quite a laggy route as well, um, unfortunately. But it's a beautifully detailed route. But yes. it is a lot of laggy side. must be a western region driver <laughs> yeah I've got a few comments about the take it easy and then putting the reg in the roof but it's how you drive a loco in train sim well by pressing the A and D key yep but best way to drive locos for any sort of non-stop run you stick the reg in the roof and then you drive it off the reversal It's not the realistic way of driving it, but it works for train sims, so... That smoke is looking a bit better now, if I'm firing at 900 pounds. Yeah. Because at 1,000 pounds it was just too black, so I was just killing the fire. Yeah. Right, how many miles have we got? 
Uh, 20 miles to Hollyhead. Ah, that's a nice run. It's 10 to 11. <laughs> uh, well, we'll be late by half past. Do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon so. It reckons another 25 minutes. If we can get up to 60 again, a mile a minute. G5BTB5G says, I would love to see how Bahamas handles the Settling Carlisle. Well, you know what, Sam, we have never done a virtual footplate on the Settling Carlisle. We haven't, it's on the to do list. Uh, but yeah, I think Bahamas would certainly be a good one to take on that, seeing as that's when she did her return to Steam Mail tours. Uh, I think so far this ticket she's done four tours of the s &C. Old Contemptible says what does BMG stand for? Bossman Games. They're uh, the developer of this magnificent loco. The yeah, link, link to the website is in the description box below. If you look closely on that spanner there you can see they've left the mark on it. Oh yeah they have haven't they? That's, that's cool. Yeah, nice little easter eggs. I think there's one on there as well but I've plastered over that one. Oh. And the other route that we need to do, Sam, is Stainmore. Yes. Yeah, we do need to do a run on Stainmore. Because I've still not really done anything on Stainmore. Yeah, and it has been out a while now. It's been out for a long time, I haven't run it. Well, I've taken some screenshots on it, but I've not actually done any proper running. Yeah. Okay, I'm opening the second injector right now. Yep, I'm happy with my reverser and my regulator settings, so that should take care of itself. Well, oh, we were making steam then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get a bit of water in the boiler and then I'll turn it off as quick as I can. Yeah, I'll leave it to you to manage the firing now. Like I said, that reverser should be set right for the rest of it where. 60 soon. Yeah, I do think there are some hills here. Yeah, there are a few. Well, actually, i got to say, I've quite enjoyed running this route. It is quite a nice route, um, especially for a Duff Tower Games route. Um, it is very nicely done. Some of the routes have actually been quite good. They have. Um, and I think they do seem to be getting better with it. But again, it's a modern route, and I don't really go for the modern routes that much, but... I, I only do them because there's not a lot, whole lot of choice, and I try. Yeah. As, I try as much as I can to stick with routes that I can run Steam Rail tours on. Yeah. Um, I do. Um, occasionally, I do modern stuff, but it's not that much. The most modern stuff I tend to do is like the Armstrong Powerhouse, um, you know, heritage diesels. Yeah. The Class 37 pack is pretty good. You know, I absolutely hate this camera with a passion. I know. This, this has been a persistent issue in Train Simulator since Microsoft Train Simulator came out. Yep. 2001. Will Russell 21 says, have you done Fort William to Maleg? We haven't done that route as a virtual footplate. I've run that route before on streaming. <laughs> I hate train sim so much. Joe Light Railway is asking about all the routes that don't exist again. Joe, listen. Every live stream we do, you're asking, can we do rail tours or can we do live streams on different routes? But 
you suggest a lot of the routes that you suggest they don't actually exist in train sim so you need to have a look at what routes actually exist you know you can't just say can we do a live stream on this route if it doesn't exist in the game Let's just have a look at what routes are out there and and then make a, a choice from there Ramen Boy saying doing a race with early Pacifics. Well, um, we will do more races, but at the moment we're doing these uh, foot plate turns. Oh, I've overfired it again. Shocker. Hey, Sam. Hmm. Yep. Go back to that view just for a second. Watch the smoke now. Da 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 da. I'm saying the smoke signals. Checking colon or just opening and closing the doors? Just opening and shutting the door. Yeah. We're nearly up at 60 again now, aren't we? Yeah. That's why we're just going into a cab to check. We can go for outdoor view again. It was only slightly too much coal. Now it's going grey. I think we're going downhill. We are. K1 on the West Highland route would be good for a virtual footplate run. There's a route that joins the two parts. Yeah, I did see there was like a south and a north version of that route. Um, There's been one I've seen recently as well, which yeah. connects up. We need to look into that because that would be quite an interesting route to do a uh, virtual footplate run on. Yeah. Or the K4. That's the Just Trains one, isn't it? That's an advanced loco. Yeah, um, we could even take a Bossman Games Black 5 on it. I think I would prefer to run the Black 5. Yeah, we could take... Um, I think 5212, and is it 45407? Oh, the K4 is the Victory Works one. What's the one I'm thinking of that's the Just Trains one? Or is it the K1? Yeah, it's the K1, okay. The K4, Victory Works. Although, to be honest, we haven't actually run anything from Victory Works on these foot virtual footplay runs. No, we haven't. Yeah, SJB Media says don't let me drive anything that's um, got three cylinders. Because <laughs> I have a history of uh, killing them. Ah, so that's why I'm driving Bahamas. So. It is, yes. That's why you're driving tonight. Just Trains also did the LNER V2. That's right, Green Arrow. Actually, do you know what? The JT V2 is actually one of my favourite locos in Train Sim. And I know it's a little bit dated now, it's been out for a while, but genuinely, I love driving that engine. The only thing, I think there is still a bug with its, is it with its front coupler? Um, I think it does still have a bug, but other than that, it's a fantastic machine. Seem to be dropping with pressure a bit, Reese. Yeah, I'm on the shovel. I think we're going uphill now as well. A little bit. Yeah. But yeah, going. I think I'd like to do a, um, vic a virtual footplate run on um, Stainmore, but with something northeastern, like perhaps the Victory Works Q6. Yeah. Now that would be an interesting machine and do a heavy freight run on, you know, with the Q6. Yeah, that'd be good. Something LNER and freight in a, on a steam age route. I think that would be a good one for us because we've done LNWR. We've done Southern. What vir virtual footplate runs have we done? We've done the Merchant Navy. Yeah. We did Super D. And the Super D and Coal Tank. 
what else did we do? I'm oh, not entirely sure, oh, actually. I, it's been a while. I'm trying to remember whatever runs we did with the virtual footplate. Oh, we did the West Country. Yeah. And now we've done Bahamas. So I think it is time to do something Great Western. We did Great Western. What did we do? We, um, it was one of the... Oh, the, um, the Armstrong. Oh. That's right, the Armstrong 440 on the Thamesby route, wasn't it? Yeah. Where you derailed it right at the end. <laughs> Just going... It was a spectacular derailment for a walking pace derailment. It was. Oh, that's right, the loco fell like 90 degrees on its side, didn't it? It wasn't far off, yeah. It would it would just been dramatic. It was, yeah. Uh, Robert's not my friend anymore, saying GWR Gresley was right. That's it. I'm upset. Ugh. I am offended. I am offended. Do you know what, Reese? So am I, but that's just because I don't like Helen ER. <laughs> I mean, the, the problem is, apart from the victory work stuff, there isn't anything that's really, like, advanced for Great Western. Yeah. I mean, the Victory Work stuff is nice, but I wouldn't call it as advanced as the BMG stuff. Yeah. All of just train stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, the 42, 52, and 7200, I love playing with those locos. They are cracking machines. I, I, that would be quite good to do um, on the Barry route, 4200 virtual footplate. The only thing is it ends at Walnut, Walnut Tree Viaduct. It doesn't go on to uh, any of the collieries. Yeah. Reese Arnold is asking if I'd be interested in looking at his route. Um, yeah, drop me a message on the Facebook group or the Facebook page with a link to it. And I'll have a look because I actually have a queue of routes that I need to do live streams of. And my, my queue is getting longer and longer every day, it seems. Yep. So, I still have other things I need to stream for Chris and Jared. Yeah, it's like my reskin list. Yeah. Every time someone makes a suggestion I like, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll add that to the list. But it takes me that long to do reskins now. It's like, the list just grows exponentially. Is the South Wales main line on train sim? Yes, it is. That's one we could do as well. Yeah. But then we when we did we could do the um, a rerun or something of you know like Swansea to he Hereford or something. Yeah. The only thing with like Swansea to Shrewsbury that's literally like a three hour live stream. Yeah, it takes a it takes a lot longer than you realise. Yeah. Mind you, this one's taken longer than we realised. I mean, this, this has been three hours, six minutes. You know, so it has been going on a while. It's been a good run, though. You can I've tell it's been a good it. by uh, State of Tender. Wow, this completely clean. Well, not completely clean, but Half that was empty. a well, set off, and it's we've gone through a fair bit of rock there. How many pens? Do you start off with in when you start off the in the scenario? I don't know, but it's nine tons in the tender. Nine tons. Right, we've used a fair bit. Oh yeah, I reckon we've used um, we've used a couple of tons there. Oh god, uh, Robert is saying it takes three hours to do Shrewsbury to Cardiff. Jeez, that's a long way. Five hours mm. from Shrewsbury to to Swansea. Oh god, that'd be a hell of a long live stream, especially, you know, you do Swansea to Newport, that's already like an hour and a bit, and then you head up north on the Welsh marches, and then you've got to tackle Langweigel Bank. Yeah. That was potato. That that bank nearly killed me. Was yeah, that I think double-headed with the, um, the manors, the Victory Works manors up there? Yeah. That was impressive. They they handled it really well, I gotta be honest. Yeah, they did nice. Like they were really giving it the chuff.
then find Gold Bank. Bahamas does have some nice toots. Aye. So all in all, Sam, it's a very nice reskin. Oh, thank you. And uh, I'm sure everybody watching the live stream is going to look forward to the pack being released. And I'm sure like half as many people as that are going to be really distraught because it's shiny. I know. So many people have looked at the cab and gone, it's too clean. Yeah. Which, uh, I mean, I've been... Uh, yeah, I have been making fun of you a bit for that, haven't I? <laughs> to be honest, though, you haven't because you've actually seen the engines. And this is true. Ever, ever since you've seen the engines, you've been like, no, they are actually like clean, so it's all right. I'll let you off for that. Yeah, to be fair, I am a man who can admit when I'm wrong. Yeah, this is why I was driving so much LMS stuff recently. <laughs> <laughs> Robert says you could do a Scarborough Spa run from Leeds to York via Harrogate with 48151. Actually, I wouldn't mind driving the 8F again. Yeah. And do you know what? The um, I would actually really love to see some more Leeds based routes. Two routes I want to see in train sim. What route Leeds is that? Is that the Just Trains one? Um, I think it's the Vulcan Productions one. We but yeah. Leads to Scarborough via York and leads to Carlisle via the SNC. Two routes I want to see made for train sim there. Do you know what route I would like to see again or continue being developed is the uh, S Wave branch version 2? Yeah. Which uh, I think it was Robert that was actually working on that before. Yeah, we got about six miles left to run, Sam. Where is it? In Hollyhead. No, but I mean, why can't I... See? Oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's there, right. by there. 6.2 miles. Yeah. The Oxenhope branch. Oh! Well, what's up? I've just noticed. What have you just missed? You're missing what? I'm not sure you ran the installer right, Reese, or you installed the latest version. Well, I, I installed the one that you sent me. Hmm. What are we missing? We've got no front coupling. Oh, jeez, I only just realised. I mean, not like we need one, but... It fell off. That's what I think happened. It fell off... Um, as we left crew. So there's nothing we could do. Do you know what happened? It was nicked when we were at real. That's exactly it. The scrap merchants. They came and some, stole it. Some, on Facebook some page, chavs. Wheels, your rods will be nicked. They've nicked his coupling. They nicked me coupling. Oh, Robert's saying he has, he's got it tucked away in a corner wait, in, in, of his hard drive waiting for some free time to dust it off. I mean, yeah, it, it, I would love to see the S Wave branch make a comeback, you know, with like updated scenery and because it. I mean, even it. Well, pfft, let me try talking again. Um, <laughs> it's been out for quite a while. I think it's actually been out for like six, it, seven or eight years now as a route, um, and it was cracking for its time. But you imagine with some of the, you know, the scenery assets that have come out in the last eight years. If it was given a bit of a facelift and some modernising, it would look proper good, wouldn't it? Oh, definitely. Oh, of course, Andy has just joined the chat at the very end of the live stream. Hello, Andy. Andy, we're in your favourite place. We're in God's wonderful land of Wales. That's a triangle, Reese. Oh, right. Oh, we're actually uh, getting close then. Yeah. So you might want to consider shutting off. 3.8 miles. Yeah, once we go through this platform. I'm going to stop shoveling.
Ah, uh, Robert is working on it. He said he's going to send me some screenshots of the work in progress version. It does Ooh. look good if he says so himself. But hey, that's building up some hopes there because it's one of my, I think actually, do you know what? It's my favourite route in Train Sim. I mean, I've played a lot of really good routes, but the S Wave Branch really is my favourite route. For I've no reason in particular, maybe. For no particular reason. There's a, there is a reason why I chose it to become the Landia Dog Line. You know, masquerade as the Land Air Dog Line, anyway. There's a low speed restriction in about a mile. Oh, Laser Jet's back. Hello, Laser Jet. Oh, I better turn the blower off. Yeah, we're on the final approach to Hollyhead now. Everyone in the chat saying we need to start breaking. Yeah, no. Nah. I don't want to end the live stream by twatting the buffers at the other end. Yeah, we were. But this is an AWP live stream. This is generally what we do. Generally, but not always. Okay, that's going to have to become the motto: is uh, usually unsuccessful, but sometimes successful. Yeah, it's like I said, uh, sometimes we can be competent. Very, I think every now and then we can actually do something. Andy never got round to picking up this route. I know they took it off sale and they still haven't got round to re-releasing it. I think it's because it's branded as Arriva Trains Wales, is that right? They took it yeah. all, They took South Wales Coastal and North Wales Coastal down because of the branding. Wasn't there a US Air Force base on the left there? I don't know. Could have been, I suppose. Reese Arnold said he sent me a message about his route. Yeah, we'll take a look at that after the live stream. <coughs> One, oh, it's... Oh, what was not there? we still got two miles to run. Do you know what? Open her up. Let's get a couple of screenshots on the final run-in. I hope I don't run out of steam now on the final two miles into uh, Hollyhead. It would be really embarrassing if you'd got this far and we had to stop for a blow-up just outside the platform. I know. No, I think we've got plenty of fire to get us to the last, um, the last bit. Yeah. Oh, Andy says it was the Virgin franchise branding that screwed the North Wales coastal route. Yeah, um, that route. Which is why it's not properly come back. <clears throat> well, give it time, hopefully it will. It's a gradient down to the station, so we should roll in with ease. Yeah. It's a silly thing though, I don't understand why I can't just do a um you know, can't just do a quick reskin, get rid of all the logos and then ah uh, there we are, fifteen mile an hour. But yeah, I don't get why I can't just get the logos, paste over him, and then re-release it without any logos. Yeah, exactly. It wouldn't take much, would it? No. I suppose it's not just that. It's like the whole rigmarole of they have to send it to Dovetail Games and it all has to be tested and uploaded to Steam and the deal has to be signed and all that crap. <clears throat> yeah. God, we have used a fair bit of coal, haven't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're running out of rock. Running out of rock. But it's okay because we're going to the seaside so we can get some more. Nice stick of rock from Hollyhead. Oh. Go away! <laughs> Tell you what, the best stick of rock I ever had was from Whitby. Hey! Do you know how I know? Because it was from Yorkshire? No, because it pulled one of my fillings out. <laughs> 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 Literally, I was eating away. And then suddenly I just felt this almighty sharp pain in the side of my face. And I was like, oh no. And then my mouth filled with blood. And then I was like, oh no. And then, <laughs> and then I had a look in the mirror and yet it just, eating a stick of rock, it just pulled one of the fillings straight out. And I was like, oh crap. <laughs> That's rock fire made out of tough stuff. Oh yes. Not only soft southern malarkey. Malarca. 
So it was like, yeah, lovely day at the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Next day, straight to the dentist, emergency dentist. Three <laughs> three hundred and fifty pounds uh, dentist bill later. <clears throat> So yeah, that sucked. No, it rocked. <laughs> I see what you did there. Pun intended. Yeah, good. It was, it was quite good actually. Might not be funny, but I'm quick. Except when I'm driving. Apparently. I was going to say, doing 15 miles an hour. <laughs> well, there's, we're coming up to a 15 mile an hour zone, so that's alright. Yeah. One of the guys at work is nicknamed Captain Cautious. Captain Cautious. Do you know what? I quite like it. It's quite appropriate. That's when, uh, you know, when you're running machines that cost thousands of pounds and you're making parts that cost hundreds of pounds, you kind of want to be cautious. Yeah, that's true. Robert is asking, the question is, would you go back and get another stick of rock? The answer is, hell yeah. <laughs> Without any hesitation, I'd go do it all over again, and then probably regret it immediately as it pulls another filling out. Did you see what that van just did? A va there were those vans on the left, they were overtaking. Yep. I did not know that cars could do that in train sim. See, it's funny because they do that, but then they'll just randomly disappear into the nothing. Oh, I know that. That winds me up, that does. That actually does wind me up. I'm going to do a bit of line siding just for a, in a moment. If I can press the 8 key. What's our fire like? Dying. But that's okay. I didn't take a screenshot, Sam. <laughs> nice job, Reese. <laughs> spam Q, spam Q, spam Q. <laughs> oh yeah, here's a good point. On the bottom of the loco, at some point, there's got to be like a detector or a shoe or something that that uh, comes into contact with the EWS ramp, right? I'm not sure if it comes into contact. I think it's like a magnet. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be like a proximity switch of some form, hasn't it? <clears throat> yeah. So, where on the loco is it? It's um, somewhere under here. Is it under the front? Is it? Or you just meant it's somewhere under the loco, and you're being sarcastic. It, it's somewhere under the lurker. Alright, fantastic so, uh, talk with Sam there. I think Logan. it's somewhere under the cab. Is it? I think so. But don't quote me on that. So we're pulling into platform number one at Hollyhead. I'm just going to stick the injector on to make sure that we don't... Uh, Blow off. Ah, we've had no super chats in this live stream. No one's given us money. No money for me. That's a real shame. There's no uh, curry and chips for me this week. It's probably oh, do you that good? It's probably better for my waistline, isn't it? Yeah. I only Reese only gets takeaways when people donate on on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, all the donations are actually probably paying for your Revla Hills research at the moment. Well, I've spent literally about 150 quid, probably 200 on books and reference materials. Yep. Here we go, chaps. We're arriving at Hollyhead. Right, so now it's time to fully open the regulator. Hey, there we go. He's donated $5. Sir Liv, thank you very much, sir. You are a oh. gentleman. Somebody's paid for their ticket, look. <laughs> Somebody finally paid for a ticket to ride the train to Hollyhead. Well, better late than never. There we go. You very much for chat revenue is, um, it works out as £3.67, so I could probably get um, chip wrap with that. Well, since we're in Hollyhead, we better go get some for lunch. 
Yeah, we'll go Chrysor E whatever that was. We should sell the photos of Bahamas to get money. I like that idea. Actually, that reminds me, Michael, if you're watching this, get some of my Prince of Bahamas uploaded so I can make money. Well, hey. Money, money, money. Are we in the platform? Oh, we've still got quite a way to go. Yeah, we're still rolling. I want to get a, a shot on the side here. Let's have a look. That looks quite good. <clears throat> Well, hey, Josh B has just donated two pounds. Thank you very much, Josh. That's very appreciated. Two pounds. So the chat revenue so far at the very end of the live stream is now five pounds sixty-eight. So I can afford a uh, a doner kebab. Reese's getting fat tonight. Come on, guys, donate money to the live stream so I can get a uh, was it a large doner kebab or mixed mixed kebab with chips? That's my plan. Come on, everyone, donate your money to Reese's Get Fat Scheme. <laughs> I'll post a video uh, of me eating the kebab. <laughs> should, you should live stream it and see if you live can get more it. Yeah, but if I live stream it, people might donate again, so I have to buy another kebab. <laughs> exactly. <a> genius plan. <clears throat> You can just see the fire flashing there. Oh yeah, you can. I wonder if you could use the textures from the Dovetail um, Duchess. Because one thing about that logo is that the fu you know, the flash, the fire is very yeah. good. Ooh. Ooh. Right by the shunt signal. Robert's you know screaming spad at you. I don't think you quite. Sp no, you didn't spad. I've not spad it. At I've not spad it at all. And do you know what the best thing is? What? I didn't actually put the brakes on. Oh, it just came to a stop on its own. Yep, nice. just to a running stop. Absolutely perfect. Look at that. That's a good shot. And look at that. Not. Hey. Let's get a few screenies before we finish. Let's get a few screenies. Tell you what, I'll just point out as well. Features on this. 3D nameplate, look at that. 3D nameplate. I love the sounds that she's making as well. 3D smoke box plate. <clears throat> the sounds are um, the original BMG ones at the moment. Yeah, we've got the... Um, North British. Proper... Photo there, that's the actual uh, builder's plate from the loco. And in fact, that photo is actually taken in the BLS workshops just after I'd cleaned that up after taking it out of store. Nice. So, got that, your authentic bit of Bahamas. We've been through the stuff in the cab. You've got, yeah. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> so, the support coach has got the proper number on it. Um, which has been added as a decal, as has the British Railways logo. Um, that's been properly textured and all that lot to match the real fin. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. I'll let you get some screenies, Reese. Yeah, I'll do a few screenies before we finish. So, guys, uh, that. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. Things are happening. I don't like it. <laughs> there we go, chaps. We have made a run from. Crew to Hollyhead with number 45596 Bahamas. And we haven't massively cocked it up. Well, there was the minor cock up at Chester, but I'm blaming the signalman for that one. Well, to be fair, it wasn't a huge cock up, it was just more of a routing error. I'd say it was, yeah, it was a train sim error, so I'm not even counting it. It's just train, it train sim being a twat, basically. Yeah, I mean, we've... Oh, look at that, the whole train's in the platform too. Oh, Sam, I'm not going to lie, you buttered the bread when you uh, stopped there. That, that were, you know, I might have been on the air of caution, I might have braked too quickly, but... Hey, it paid off in the end, didn't it? It actually, these Mark 1s do look good though, don't they? Oh, they're cracking. 
And I think Ethan's done a really great job at matching the font on them as well. Yeah, See if you can get a training. I wonder if you can get a shot from that footbridge. What do you think? If you have a look behind you, there's a bridge going over the line. You stand on there, if you go near the end and then you zoom in. If you go... That's probably the limit, isn't it? Yeah. You can just about get the last coach there. But yeah, there we are. That's a preview of how it performs on the main line. Well, yeah, she had a, a pretty hefty load on, I think. So, she didn't do too bad, I think. Yep. And, uh, yeah, what else is there to say? I hope you've enjoyed the live stream. Remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you for the next one, whenever that is. Thank you for watching, and good night as we see Bahamas running round her train. By the way, I've taken the reg. You know all the points are set, don't you? Yeah, they are. Oh, wait. Sam's dumped the brakes. Sam's not good. Aw. Oh, Sam knew what I was going to do. See, this is why we have a BLS rep on our engines, Reese. <laughs> See, even in digital land, uh, I can't. Uh, we can't actually crash Bahamas. The BLS reps are there to stop the shenanigans from happening. <laughs> anyway, I tried. Sorry, guys. Sam. Uh, Sam stopped me. But hey, <laughs> Sam's doing his duty to BLS even in simulator times. So, thank you for watching, everyone, and good night. Bye bye. Oh, hang on, I need the mouse. Oh, you, you get a close pass set. Go on. I think you still got my mouse. Yeah, you still got my mouse. You haven't disconnected. Yeah, you still got my mouse.